Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. I, I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her. Somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. Someone needs a... Okay, I see. What up? We back? Another Tuesday, motherfucker, in the goddamn storage wars. Hell yeah. <laughs> 5150 Ooh, lives again, goddammit, in this motherfucker with the homie Craig and this motherfucker with the... Bullshit tank top, nigga. <laughs> that tank top ain't shit. That nigga got some loafers on. This nigga got on sweatpants and loafers. Hell this nigga yeah, look like a nigga. homosexual Q. <laughs> Ah, that's OG funny. Darlene Ortiz in the motherfucking house on the Asian side of the game. Mexican Asian. Okay. Mex Asian. <laughs> what? The Speaking of Asians, motherfucker, in New York, them Asian hoes done snapped. <laughs> them bitches and the Asian man who was in the shop. Oh, the nail bitch. Jumped on them bitches. Was hitting them bitches with sticks and shit. Damn. What? I heard it was over five dollars. Really? Five dollars. I heard they fucked the bitch eyebrows up. She didn't want to pay, so they got at the bitch with sticks. Over five dollars. <laughs> I hope they're getting what what is the follow up though? What happens to them? I don't know what happened. I mean, it's open season on black people in America now. People like, shit, you can do shit to them and don't nothing happen. Mm. Yeah, they didn't shut the shop down. Them bitches, I don't know what happened. If them bitches went to jail or whatever, that was that was assault with a deadly weapon. If you hit somebody with a stick, you know you're going to jail oh, for yeah. assault with a deadly weapon, yeah, right? That's a felony. Right. right. That's, that's a that's felony. A motherfucking felony. You're supposed yeah. to just say... Just don't come back, okay? We messed you up, but don't come back. We don't need your service anymore, what have you, but to attack somebody, like you said, for five bucks? Man, black people need to go into the nail business. I don't know why you keep going hey, to them man, folks. I don't know why, motherfucker. People's out there protesting. That's the new black fight back protesting. Fuck a protest. I, I just, I, I want to say that the, the black family has been broken. If there was a black man in there, that would not have happened like that. Oh, no. The presence of one nigga changes everything. <laughs> but we really don't have the brothers with the sisters no more. All we do is come through fucking Lee. Yeah. You don't feel like arguing. Hmm. Have you ever Thanks, thought Rich. about that in real life, though? Like, where, where, where was the man? Hmm. Unfortunately, in Florida, the brother ran up on that man talking crazy to his family, and he got shot and killed. <sighs> But um, that's another thing, goddammit. You got to have that goddammit. I'm here to tell you. I, I mean, I know New York is fucked up with handgun law. Oh, yeah, you get three that's years why. automatically. I couldn't live there. I couldn't no. live there. I couldn't live in Florida with the whole stand your ground. Uh, Texas, which Texas. Which is basically is a law too. they created For niggas. To, yeah. to lock black people up and tell white people what well, you did, what you're supposed to do. That's what stand your ground is. Texas I don't know how black people live in Florida, but. What's the one in Texas, D? No, I'm saying Texas as well. Right. They've Texas got, is stand your ground? No, but they've got some hella laws. Like some lot you don't of know their, the law. You just wanted to say something, right? No, no, no. They do, though. I've always heard a lot of things about that. I don't know specifically which right. ones. If I can look them saying, up, what's... but no. I was just... like, Texas, too. And I was like, so what they do in Texas? No, not to stand their ground. I don't know, but Texas, too. <laughs> well, that's the truth. But it's I wasn't going to say anything though. I didn't know, but I'm just saying, ah, that's what you get. Uh-huh. Well, I'm Man. sick. Sam was coughing on me the whole time he was here. That was hocking ass. You know how long time ago that was? You caught yeah, that from somebody else. Yeah, about the time it takes for a motherfucker to leave. When a motherfucker no. leave, it takes a week. You don't know. You ain't got no facts. You just be talking. <laughs> Say Texas. That nigga spit a two-week look. Texas, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, what happened in Texas? Yeah. 
Yeah, man. I didn't say what happened. I'm just saying I heard they have some messed up laws out there. A lot of people wouldn't like to live out there. Sometimes. The bitches in the nail shop was supposed to get stepped to. Oh, yeah. Oh, if yeah. we was in unity, right? somebody would go in there real simple and be like, look, I don't know what the fuck happened in here, but there's going to be repercussions for what y'all did. All y'all got together and jumped on one of the sisters. And the dude who was holding her was the he was supposed to be the example made out of him. Right. He was supposed to be put in the hospital. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying if 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 everything wasn't separated like it is, all this bullshit. I'm gonna take you to court for child support and all this sucker shit. In the sixties and seventies, goddamn it, I'm just saying, motherfuckers, we had battles, goddamn it, but wasn't no motherfuckers running up on motherfuckers like that because they know motherfuckers will be back. It'll be repercussions. Yeah. Ain't no yeah. repercussions now. We all split. Some boy. one of you niggas in New York need to go ahead and put on your show enough shoulder pads and chucks and start banging windows out of that motherfucker and, and, and don't go and, and marching. Uh, wait fuck though, a march, and don't man. go laughing at marching. And, march and, and so don't like, go using the their services. Go yeah. find, you know what I'm saying, some in the community or help somebody open one up and or open your own up. But that goes back to the real definition of racism. The real definition of racism is the competition between groups of people for wealth and resources. Mm. You niggas need to start thinking about paper, man. Why are you spending your paper with people who don't give a fuck about you? I know why. Because bitches in charge. The, the, look, the white man knew how to fuck the community up. Mm. I'm going to give these bitches power over these niggas. I'm going to make it where they can tell I had a baby by him. Right. And I'm going to fuck his income up. That's right. what happened. Right. That's why niggas don't fuck with bitches for real. real t- <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. Bitches you fuck with, if you a smart man, you basically are trying to get the pussy and get the fuck yeah, away from the bitch. Like in the wild sometimes. Right, right, right. Right. Don't nobody be fucking with bitches. Bitch, that bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Man. Do you know how significant that song really oh, is? Man. Mm. man, the mentality of a lot of our black women, they didn't turn into black widows. They give you the pussy, have a baby, and they want to kill you right after. But not physically. They want to kill your pride, and they want to take everything from you. Mm. We, where, where you think they learned that from? Man, a couple places, but the they European learned it woman. from Caucasian leadership in America. I, all, I tell this story. When I was in high school, this was 85, 86. 75. No! <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Cornbread Earl and me. Man, we was working at Burger King, man. It was this heavy metal punk rock ass white boy. Oh, yes, I recall it. <laughs> man, uh-huh. this motherfucker, they, he got a phone call at work. We was working at Burger King. That motherfucker answered that phone. He was like, hello? Mama, I'm at fucking work. Oh, oh, yeah. Everybody in there was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Is he talking to his mother? <laughs> I can't believe he said that. Yeah, yeah. Now that's how niggas act. Huh. Mm. That ain't nothing that'll blow nobody mind. They'll be like, who he talking to his mama? <laughs> that's what people do now. The times have changed. All the shit you bitches are going for, you basically are falling into the pit of hell with these motherfuckers because the men don't even know how to motherfucking do what the fuck they supposed to do. Mm. Ain't no motherfucker supposed to be outside though, marching and shit. You get at them motherfuckers. They already cracked it off, nigga. Hey, man, so a sister got jumped down here. Oh, so, I don't know what you think, but that's going to cost you. Yeah, it's, it's cracked off already, we man. We set an example. <laughs> that motherfucking Asian dude that was holding her, he oh, better be yeah. in the hospital. He going, yeah. Paying medical bills for that shit because he was holding her. Most mm. definitely. I'm like, what the fuck is this? To but do y'all what? don't understand protocol. Y'all think you' supposed to march? You ain't supposed to march. You' supposed to get at them motherfuckers. Straight Direct up. contact with the perpetrator. Now I know why everybody's scared to do that to the police. Police train with guns, but the only reason they get away with it because the community split, and the community mm. is split because everybody owe everybody through the motherfucking court system. Mm. Right. Right. Think about that shit. I don't fuck with bitches who lost. I fuck a bitch and lose her, but I don't. <laughs> I, if you a lost bitch, oh, I'm not going to have you all up on me. Nah. That's crazy. Hell, oh, no. shit. Oh, we got shit. somebody who just came in. Oh. That chair just said, 
shit. You want to switch? He can. He should. Oh, no, he ain't gonna here. break the chair. He look thinner. You know. <laughs> we just talking about some real shit before you came in too. What's up, right. Nate. What up, Nate? How did Montreal go? Man, uh, I got signed to three yards on the spot. You bullshit. What? I ain't shocked. Right on. Th- Good for Nate. Did you hear what he said? I want you to know, three arts is major management. Major management. That's not, that's not chopped liver. You know what I mean when I say that? Yeah. That's big. Who you talk to? Uh, well, I've been dealing with a guy over there already. Uh, his cat named, um, it's on last names. Weisenberg oh. is what I've been dealing with. Weisenberg. That sounds like a. Uh, uh, Rodenberg. That sounds like a motherfucker who really in the game. You know. <laughs> Sinberg. <laughs> right. And then uh, closer, and then uh, Dave Becky saw me do my set for Kevin's. La- Enough said. And then he said, "Dave Becky, we're gonna fuck with him." So I don't. I'm not. I'm not I know with, Dave Becky. Is I'm t- not with t- Becky t- though. Tell Dave Becky, Corey Holcomb, say what's up. Well, you better motherfucking talk to Becky when you go up there. Be like, tell Becky, I said hi. Can I, mean, I talk to him? Yeah, yeah. Dale, Dave Becky makes shit happen. I know. Mm. They tell me he's a. This thing's a finger snap. That motherfucker makes shit happen. You better talk to Dave Becky. The other motherfucker, give him credit, buy him a little outfit or something. But Dave <laughs> Becky? He gonna get his percentage anyway. Look at Dave Becky and say, Dave, fuck with me, man. I'm trying to do something. Uh, All right, well, you can yeah. talk to him for real. Don't don't be in there like switching your voice up. Then he gonna know you a boy. <laughs> Go in that motherfucker and talk like your good Seattle church lane. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> one day and say, Jesus <laughs> go there and sent say. me to you. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you dress like you build bikes, nigga. <laughs> you you build bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I build bikes. <laughs> like like you build Harleys on the side. <laughs> 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 no, that's, that's good, though, Nate. It don't yeah. shock me. Congratulations, man. It Thanks. don't shock me with Nate. When they tell me shit, I ain't shocked. Mm. Oh, but you just a hookup away from making it. I was shocked. You you ain't the type of motherfucker where if you thrown in the fire, you won't be ready. Talently. You get what I'm saying? Some people, if you throw them in the fire, they won't be ready. Yeah. You ready? Just yeah, be man. you, nigga. Don't be scared to be you. I'm telling you, if you switch it up, they going to smell you. Motherfuckers think white motherfuckers don't got no instincts. If you in that motherfucker, yes, hello. I, I tried to that. Da- Fuck that shit. Be Nate around them at all times. Right. When you switch up how you talk, sometimes you get stuck quicker with vocabulary. Right. Talk like you talk around them motherfuckers, and they're going to fuck with you like that. Uh, most definitely. Three arts, don't fuck up. Motherfucker, this motherfucker ready on the teddy bear side of the game. Uh, <laughs> uh, the girl uh, of the story. Uh, 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 put a perm in your head and shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. No. That nigga uh-huh. waiting to hit me with the side of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So Do you see what kind of shoes he got on with this outfit? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, oh, you just trying to Penny be cool with him. He intimidating you because he got his shirt off. Oh, oh, no, man. I can't. No, I'm not worried about none of that he shit. Can't. I just want to, I just missed the nigga. It's been weeks since you've been back. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I heard I was going to go up there too, oh, man. What the fuck is What, to Montreal? Yeah, I heard you murdered that motherfucker. And my, what's the little nigga with the afro? I heard he murdered the yeah, fresh Ron face. Taylor did. New Where's face that nigga from? from? He from Detroit. Midwest, he from oh, the little nigga with the glasses. Yeah, yeah. he murdered. Ryan, he they, murdered. Said he did, he, they say he took he took the cake at the new faces. Well, yeah. well that's good. He they they because yeah. they, they could put him in shit. He he looked like a nerd, a black nerd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what he's I'm saying? That means he's not intimidating. Funny. In an ensemble like Friends, yeah. he's funny. He's aware of how he looks too. Right, he know he's he like, looks like because I look like this and shit. Like, oh, he good. Yeah, you know I'm uh-huh. glad he said that yeah. shit. Ron, funny than a motherfucker. You ain't have to. You ain't have to do no Terry Crews type shit. <laughs> that nigga was in the back. Balls grab. Slow dance. Like, with the old grab man. Man. <laughs> he was like, "I'm a cue, nigga. I'm yeah. fuck you." Yeah. Hey, they, they, I think Keep they, talking. I'm gonna put a pack of yeah. cigarettes in your sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Trying to send that message. I ain't going to prison. Uh, yeah, I, I think Nader ended his career before he let a nigga slow dance with him back. Oh my gosh. We was slow talking dance. about them, them Asian. <laughs> oh. We talking about them Asian bitches who jumped on them sisters in that store. You what seen happened? that? Oh, you, you ain't see seen that? it, nigga. Oh, that's right. You been in Montreal. You don't know nothing but um, Canadian everything. news, goddamn it. Mm-hmm. I came back, LeBron opened the school and shit. I was like, oh, shit. He only doing that so he could, motherfuckers would think he's better than Kobe. That's why he did That's it. That's the only reason he opened the Kobe school. Kobe opened an asshole in Denver. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, heard the, I don't I, give a fuck what none of y'all say, it. nigga. I heard the math teachers be teaching them how to shoot free throws and shit. Uh, oh, oh, man. <laughs> my hand one. Right. 
Don't ever compare LeBron to Kobe. Kobe, Kobe is better. fucking lame. Crazy in the mouth. Kobe is fucking lame. You as ain't fuck. heard the single, nigga? Man, I heard that shit, man. Y'all what motherfuckers for That real? shit was top 40 on the charts. Come on, nigga. now. <laughs> <laughs> What's single? The nigga was number 39? That nigga 39? took Brandy to prom, nigga. You fucking hating. Kobe. Man, that nigga had nigga shit. Now I late them walk up on him while he was with his wife. And the bitch didn't get jumped on. I'm telling all you bitches, look, if I'm with my wife and we fucked around and you run up on me while I'm with my wife, me and my wife gonna jump on you. Yeah. And sweat the shit out later. <laughs> me and my wife, my wife knows. She'll be like, oh, bitch, you tricking. And we gonna jump on you. Right. That's how the fuck we get down. Yeah. We jump on bitches. Nah, but what up on us? Yeah, for real. Go ahead. Nah, but much respect to LeBron, though. Yeah, that, he, he has to be besides Kareem, and it's maybe two or three dudes I'm missing. He has to be the most uh, conscious uh, superstar um, as far as it when it comes to the black plight. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what that bread. You not gonna man. have Jim Brown? Jim Brown is up there. Say, Jim yeah, Brown yeah. number one. But I'm talking. But, but since Jim, Jim Brown, Brown be in the streets with the niggas for real. No. Okay, look. So it goes. <laughs> he had the game yeah. back yeah. at his no, house. He stealed us. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. So yeah, we are talking about Kareem. We are talking about Jim Brown, and then maybe forty years, and then you get what AI. He was a nigga that he he's not really conscious, but he's tapped into the streets. He fucked with niggas, and then LeBron. Yeah, he bought dope from me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was a joke. Okay. AI I could resist that, dog. That was a joke, dog. Yeah, yeah. AI and Jordan bought a whole bunch of cold clothes about fifteen years ago and won't let them go. <laughs> they always wear them outdated yeah. ass, damaged uh, outfits. Yeah, you know, really damaged ass yeah. water boots. Use damaged. Yeah. 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 No, but some people just Jordan look... jeans be fat as hell at the ankle. <laughs> but but they just look. Uh, better in those kind of clothes. If I can't even picture him and look and say, well, what if he started wearing something else? I don't, I don't think it would suit him. Who AI? Who, AI? Jordan. Like, Jordan. Just, yeah. Just we don't stay see in that Jordan in, re- in regular clothes just enough. Just stay anyway. in that no. lane. Yeah. I think it just be at the home. All kinds of people who got up to date outfits. Jordan shit. Jordan gone. Throw all uh-huh. that shit. And what away, do you want huh? him to wear? Uh-huh. What do you think he should wear? He, Updated he, suits. Tailored, all tight on the legs. Uh-huh. And everything. Yeah, they gotta be tight like that. Yeah, they just gotta be tailored. Yeah, he, Jordan, he liked that uh, 80s look, that Janet Jordan Jackson. Jordan has no style. He, his stylist is a cholo. That nigga dressed like <laughs> <laughs> a zoo suitor. He's a zoo suitor. That nigga go to El Salvador and buy it. That nigga dressed like Steve Harvey on his sitcom. Oh, yeah, oh, that nigga, yeah, yeah. God, dang it. That nigga cut his, yeah, it's that early 90s. Baby, hold on to me outfit. Yeah, Jordan. Oh, oh, oh. That hurts up. You better, you better, baby, baby hold on, on to me. me. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. Be on the special case. Right. Yeah, you can tell you don't listen to nobody. Jordan, Jordan and Kobe, they got a similar personality. They don't listen to nobody. Man, Kobe ain't like Jordan. Jordan, Kobe let me listening something. to his wife. She said Jordan, he ain't coming back. Jordan don't listen. She tweeted it. Not even him. She said oh, Kobe not coming back. To oh, the league. Oh yeah. Shaq was like, Kobe will be back. Mark my words. I'm the first don't get me wrong. No, Kobe is the next most. Next day, his wife posted. Kobe he, been quiet the whole time. Kobe, be, he do bitch ass I'm shit. I'm trying to bite my tongue. I swear. He do I'm bitch like, ass shit, but he the most mentally tough player I ever seen on the court. What make you say that? Ooh. Because the nigga be the rape and still won championships, nigga. So why not just he beat, beat the rape up in the crowd? The only reason he beat the rape because the funky hoe had, had was nasty. Had right. fruit loops in her. Panties. No, she had three All other kinds guys. Of motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. Fruit loops, a whole bunch of flavors. Oh, this oh. bitch panties was full of niggas who came through. The nigga stole a stolen car. Not to mention so LeBron and her and three Kobe other guys. Kobe stole a stolen car. <laughs> <laughs> she was already hot. LeBron ain't never fired on nobody. That's the problem I got with him. Kobe done fired on a couple niggas. Reggie Miller, Chris Trout. Well, he fired back. On I was just gonna say, who he fired yeah, on he, first? He fired back. Who did LeBron fire on? Fuck that I ain't, with, but you don't see fuck me. That got to do with hooping or being woke. It's a man. It's a man thing. If I ain't never seen you fight or or initiate some shit after being disrespected, I'm gonna think you a whole ass nigga. LeBron James. Let me say this about LeBron Sometimes James. Sometimes people so fly they don't need to. This thing is talk like a cartel underboss. <laughs> <laughs> How many bodies okay, you got, job, LeBron? <laughs> this <laughs> handy land nigga. <laughs> you see LeBron James nigga. has grown bolder. Yeah, right. as time goes on, but I was very disappointed when they asked him why he had on that shirt that said "I can't, can't breathe,", breathe right. and he was just like, "Well, I was supporting the family." Instead of just basically saying, "Right, 
what's really happening. Because right. they, they be scared to talk about police on TV. Even Randy Moss, who kept it 100, oh, I'm not taking nothing from him. He said it like this. We all know what's going on. Right. Everybody's scared to say the police directly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it is on 5150. The police are public enemy number one. They get to carry their gun, shoot you, and they beat the case. How the fuck you going to deal with these motherfuckers? Because yeah. if you got a gun and you bust back at them, you automatically wrong. Mm-hmm. And that's why they public enemy number one. Seattle just lifted charges off two cops up there. Yeah, that's crazy. That was mm-hmm. awesome it's shit. fucked up because in the Constitution, they give us the right to bear arms to protect ourselves from a corrupt government. That's one of the things that's outlined in the Constitution. So... The fact that niggas don't understand that you are allowed to protect yourself if you're on the right, you know what I'm saying? You can't protect yourself if you're dead. You can't. You can't defend yourself. You better beat the case, homie. Just they fight give you the case. Of speech, and that's why. But the I'm talking about you. what yeah. about when the police walk up on you? They got straps, right? Yeah. And you ain't no more. You just one motherfucker. Even if you got your strap, right? Yeah. You you in a bad situation when the police walk up on you. You yeah. are. You're at, you're at a disadvantage. Yeah. Fuck the police. I don't like no police. Let me tell you something. I got family that's police. Look, if you're not a bad guy, you don't have the courage to protect us against the bad guy. That's the only way you can be a cop. You know the system is corrupt. So you either with it or you're too scared to do something about it. So what, what good are you? You see how y'all motherfucking crooked ass motherfucking co-workers beat cases where you know they foul as fuck? Mm. Every cop who stands up and says something about it, they get rid of them. Yeah. Or they kill him. What you about that brother in Baltimore? And what about the mm-hmm. young lady? I don't know if she's white. She looked mixed. <laughs> but she was a cop. The one in New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she told on somebody. You heard about that? And they kept we harassing her for years to the point where she finally killed herself. Really? Yeah, because she was going to testify or something like that. You probably know better than mm-hmm. I do. She was, yeah, yeah. Up. The mm. cops originated. They were the people who watched the slaves. We Is were brought over here as slaves. What, what happened to the lady? She was a police officer that saw something. Too much. And she finally she was, was ready officer. to. She yeah, was she was from that department and was going to testify against him. She on the donor side of the game. And was like, I got to speak up. Cause I'm a police officer. I got to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. And she spoke up. And the other cops. <laughs> hey, the show going on, nigga. Oh, yeah. Fuck what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> the show going on. <laughs> Who's that, Sam? No, that was Maya. <laughs> Long story short, the other police that was, I don't know if they were in her precinct or just a part of that area. I thought they were, yeah. They were in her precinct. They started harassing her, showing up to her house, calling her, threatening her life for like a, a long period of time. And she, she had a psychotic break, mental breakdown, and killed herself. And you know that happens when you get older. When you get older, the weaker you are. I'm telling you. Because right. I remember recently... When my dog died, oh, <laughs> this shit is it's funny now that I think about it. I was up on Venice Beach that day. I was so sad. I felt like the whole world was gone. Oh, you're yeah. just gonna do I was a, close uh, to my Michael dog. Douglas. Yeah. You were gonna do a Michael Douglas. What Michael Douglas do? Remember that movie? What was the name of that movie when he lost it in L.A.? Remember when his oh, daughter yeah, yeah, yeah. The tra- he went he through was a in la- traffic and lost lost it, uh, it just damn. now. Damn, was that's a great. Movie. I wasn't well that day. No, when but my that's dog what I'm saying. Died. He yeah. wasn't either, and it just be careful. Everybody was like, you know, it took one person just. I it, it, I, and I never thought that, but I realized I don't I'm think older. That matters what age you are, because I lost my shit when my dog got hit. Mm. My cat. Yeah, how died. did you feel? Did you feel? I was, I was, I was like 17, and mm. a lady came to the door and she said, "I'm sorry, but I just hit your dog." <gasps> she was like four foot two, driving a goddamn Lincoln Continental. And uh, I, was, I was like, "How are you driving that car that big? You can't even see over the steering wheel." Uh, you killed my dog. You were so upset. I you know were, if I you had. Were like, I didn't want to see that it was an accident. I had to carry, him, from, I had to carry him like probably. 75 yards from the road. If I found out I oh. had a terminally ill disease, though, I'd do some dirt before I go. <laughs> I'll get these. I'll get me a motherfucker. <laughs> I'll get me a motherfucker. I mean that shit. If I knew I was finna check out, mm-hmm. oh, i will get that some motherfuckers. And I ain't talking about no niggas I got into it with. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm talking about, I hate the fact that Zimmerman walks the streets. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's How wild. this motherfucker ain't got yet? But XX. How they ain't no. got him and his mama? And it's my That's just how I think. <laughs> I'm not finna just get you. No, right. fuck that, nigga. We finna. T- what fuck? He said Nate killed a chair. Oh, uh, Nate killed a chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's too hard, nigga. They been firing your ass up. The nigga said I'm you have the right to throw your shirt away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I got on some bullshit. Now, I'm going to go burn a cross in Zimmerman's no, front fuck yard. That. You be out there at the gym working out. You want to <laughs> show off your arms uh, and your. Nigga. 
shoulders and your. I ain't been in the gym in a couple in a little while. Your elderly woman chest and <laughs> shit. <laughs> that that light skin shit. Yeah, be. The cuts is all gone. Hey man, it's cuts gone. I gotta get back in there, man. That's okay, dog. You can get them older bitches like that. I know what you're doing. You ain't fooling me, nigga. Oh, I used to be young too, nigga. That nigga stupid. Nah. I'm an older nigga now. I'm an OG. <laughs> and Craig on the Uncle Fester side of the game. That's funny. Oh, let me talk about this shit because I don't know if you heard about this shit. You've been out of town. Urban Meyer, the coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes. Oh, I seen something about it, but I didn't get to look into it. This man is in trouble. Damn, they're about to lose his job because a motherfucker he worked for got into it with his bitch. Oh, yeah. That's a dude it. that worked for him, though. A dude who was on the coaching staff right. for Urban Meyer. Yeah. Him and his bitch got into it. They yeah. ain't said, they ain't had the bitch on TV. They showed pictures of her when she got into it with him. Yeah. But you ain't heard nothing about the bitch. Ain't nobody researched the bitch to find out if she an ain't shit bitch. Right. Right. But all we know is her and her husband got into it, and the coach at Ohio State is probably finna get fired because he didn't tell everything he knew about it. How does that work? So you're telling me if Craig jump on a bitch in that outfit <laughs> and I find out about it, I'm supposed to report the shit to you two? Hell no. What? I'm asking. <laughs> Domestic abuse is not no shit. If I saw a bitch getting jumped on to the point where I know this nigga is fighting her or some shit, I might be like, hold up, dude. You done took it too far. The bitch head bust open. <laughs> you done took it too far. Right. But if I see a bitch who been smacked up or some shit like that by her husband especially, mm. I'm going to be like, at the most, man, homie, what's up, man? You know, if you, you go to jail for that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta be cool, homie. I know, I, I know how shit be. How the fuck am I supposed to get fired because I didn't do something about the shit? I don't <laughs> understand that. But did he, did he witness it? Did he not help he or step in? He oh, so he just it. heard about it. He knew of it. He heard about it. And, and they said he didn't take the proper... Um, really? Whatever That's got to do Does something they about it. Like he said, he, that guy should have been fired. And the dude had an interview saying, me and my wife got into it. He right. said, me and my wife have a, 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 a rough relationship <clears throat> and she comes at me. No, but it's, actually, it's like he didn't even say that. Right. Damn. It's like a bitch can't do no wrong. I don't understand it. That's what he said. He said, any, I saw, uh, what I saw was this little clip where he said, anything that happened to her physically was just me getting her up off of me. But there was mm. no. That's what he said. Offensive. Yeah. Now, moves. we don't know if he right, but we definitely ain't even heard from the bitch. Right. What the bitch? The bitch the one who started the shit. She probably. Everybody was. scared. To, it, you Bitches can do wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I hate when people act like bitches can't do no wrong. I will hit a bitch under certain circumstances. Can we get that on camera? I'm an abuser. <laughs> I am an abuser. Yeah, we saw Not because our, I want to be, was that but Jerry because, Springer, we saw it. You saw it on Jerry Springer. You had to be a woman. <laughs> that bitch had that chair in me. She lucky we was on TV. Uh, we wasn't on TV. I had a super sock that bitch. You picked up a chair. I'm going to show you. I am an abuser. I don't want to be an abuser. I... I, I don't like bullies. I don't like bullies. I hate bullies. Mm. I don't like motherfuckers who take advantage of who's smaller than them and weaker. Right. Yeah. But if a bitch needs some discipline, <laughs> I am willing to administer discipline to bitches. I'm sorry. I know you probably don't. You go to church. You can That's hit a bitches. biblical <laughs> principle. Hitting bitches? Leviticus 9, 12 say, hit beat a bitch. bitch's ass. The book of Corinthians say, <laughs> A super sock bitch shall sit the fuck down. <laughs> I mean, if you're protecting yourself. It's all about protecting yourself. But you're not just going to go at somebody because you're angry. No. I don't do shit like that. Well, because that's what I'm saying. You I don't be have clear. a track record of that. Right, but I'm saying you got to be clear in your in your speaking what you just said. Because that's kind of so You what, think me and my wife ain't had um, physical altercations? I mean, my wife slapped the shit out of me off guard. That shit with my eye was like this a little bit. I was this motherfucker that caught me. <laughs> Oh, Hell God yeah. damn it, but I got some long ass arms. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is how I go. 
She don't hit me like that no more. No, it's always funny when you knock a bitch out and she wake up. She don't know where she had. That'd be funny than a motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you on the Ray Rice shit? Yeah, that's going. I'm fucking with so you. Ray Rice punched his wife. That's yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. That's wild. Hold on, see the, Did you see the baseball player, nigga? Oh, in the hallway. I, I, even, I always laugh. You talking about the stairway? Up. He hit her so hard, nigga. It was preposterous. Nigga, it was actually funny. Like, <laughs> why would she stand there? She's like, give me one more. Like, she was tearing her head on her head. Up. She, she wanted to get hit. No, I gotta watch it. Now. Nigga, not the, he not hit the her with the hand of God. <laughs> I seen this up bitch. And Jesus lips, nigga. Right. It was like, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga, her hand flew. Everything. The purse flew open. Lipstick flew uh, out. I seen this then bitch. Then the nigga kept... put the lipstick back in the purse. <laughs> put it back on the shoulder and hit her that way. Oh. I was like, pull it up. Oh I saw some. I saw something like that in the parking lot. It was yeah. the hardest God. shit. And this bitch just kept hitting this dude. He was sitting there looking drunk. Bow, she was hitting them hard as hell. That Here it comes, said, and you knew it was coming. La la! That bitch, <laughs> oh, that bitch did like the motherfucking Beach Street. <laughs> 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 Crumble, nigga. Hey, the Terrible. funniest thing I ever like seen. like you can't hit these bitches. Ain't nobody motherfucker no. finna let no bitch flat out do bogus no. shit, and then the bitch don't get told not to do bogus shit. You done lost mm. your motherfucking mind. Who was a baseball player? I'm trying Urban to Meyer ain't hit no bitch. In right. the uh, stairway. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. The one in the stairwell. Oh, oh, he was in her that, heart. That got one he saw mom. At a party. He saw her, her abuela woke up, nigga. Ah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> Who woke up? Abuela. 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 Her grandma. It, it looked like a, it looked like a movie. It looked fake. Like that his arm went way up. It was WWE style hits, yeah. nigga. Uh, I'm like, is he really in there? And one time I was at a Ray Rice had already been trialed for what he did too. Oh, see, yeah. I didn't know. They that. just felt like the trial wasn't good enough, so they made new rules well, to once, get rid of the black man. Once the video came out, it was like, oh yeah, we didn't yeah. punish him enough. God damn. No, but then you can't. That ain't. That ain't. Well, what that's the fuck? So legal. that's what they do now. Oh, we 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 already been through this, but we no, we bring it up again. We finna do something else. Mm-mm. If yeah. that's the yeah. case, goddammit. What's up with these cops and these chests? What's cameras? up with slavery? Man. Do you know what happened during slavery? Oh, they act like that just is not. And existent. they didn't have video. So we no. got video of stuff but happening. But it's a whole lot of light skinned motherfuckers walking around due to rape. They did a what? I ain't supposed to be this light. I'm talking about slavery. You like no camera of rape? Yeah, nigga, I ain't supposed to be this light. I'm supposed to be chocolate. That's I thought you said pretty Smitty from Detroit City. Shit but great, 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 but great, 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 Somebody got raped, nigga. Yo, oh, great, so you're great, saying great, that everybody great, was raped. Nobody great, was willing. Was Nobody I'm wanted saying, it. it ain't no she went up to the I'm house. physical proof. Hey, give me some dick. <laughs> yeah, but how many <laughs> generations is it down? I'm pregnant. It's still generational. How many generations ahead of you? So slavery for me, it's only about five. made pretty Smitty from Slavery City, nigga. Four. What? It's only, four, it's generations only four generations from, from slavery, slavery, from him to slavery. To slavery? And yeah. I said, well, since my then, if, how old is your are grandma? you sure? No, look at, okay, look. My you, dad. You are, you are, you, you, if you want to, you could just say, hold on, let me check and make sure. No, no, no I can't. Uh, my dad. Four generations old is your daddy? down was the 50s. No, it ain't. My dad was born in 55, so his mom would be, my dad is one generation. His okay. mom is two. You, okay. Her dad. parents are three. Okay. And then their parents is four. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my my great 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 grandmother, her name is Electra Rue, and she was a slave. She was a slave. Electra Rue. Electra Rue. Did she used to sing in them jazz joints? She's shocking. Before before jazz though. Jazz is that's nineteen twenties. We talking about eighteen, you know, eighteen sixties. Oh, in the 1860s. Yeah. They, they ain't had jazz back then. No, it was all Negro had, spirituals, right. nigga. Combat. Here he comes. They was using a bucket. They was using a little bucket and a little washer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. No, no man. Okay. Terrible. I need some water. Hey, no, There's a bottle in the that. freezer. Hey, Frank, could you pass me that water, homie, since Genevieve ain't here and you and Toda don't come? Oh, her sister's in town. Hey, I got some. Anybody out there listening, go on YouTube and look up the voices of slaves. That'll fuck you up. You bullshit. It's some shit that Thanks, that these man. students well, went around the freezer, with recorders in the 30s and 40s, and they went through the South, and they were interviewing some of the last living slaves. Mm. Do you like yeah. come and you <laughs> I seen an interview with a dude that was a slave in the 60s. Oh really? So what, you had an interview with Doug Prescott? It's, no, they didn't. Ah, it's, it's, <laughs> they didn't like he was. Doug Prescott his family, a slave. That's his plantation. Did they the time to be fed enough? Way past Juneteenth. Oh, oh, oh yeah, way past right. 
That's not the Barracoon book, is it? I'm listening to that now. Huh? It's, You're not talking about the it, new one, right? Barracoon, that book? No, nah, I saw a video. Nigga, oh. like, nigga, in 1963, I was free. It's a, it's a slave named Fountain Hughes that they interviewed. We need to make this nigga famous. Every black person or just non-white person in this country needs to know who he is. They asked him. They gave him the form for like 30 minutes, and they asked him, you know, if you what you want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And, and the first thing that came out of that nigga's mouth, he was like, because this is when debt was new, like as far as like loaning people money. That's the first thing that came out of his mouth. He's like, I don't understand. He called it on time. He said, I don't understand this shit with people purchasing shit on time. So if you ain't got the money, nigga, don't buy it. So he, he didn't take to, he didn't take none of those loans, no, huh? Uh, he, no, he, he was like, mm -hmm. he was like, why? The, he said, why the fuck I'm gonna pay uh, seven dollars for a one dollar shirt? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not gonna well, have me chasing the a wagon. A lot of people take them loans. It's called right. college, right? It's called right. sharecropping, right. Well, credit cards. Uh -huh. Yeah, sharecropping. Right. Yeah. They gonna put you in the hole, nigga. Mm -hmm. But this gonna fuck you. You up. gonna take something from somebody? It's just like jail. That's mm -hmm. how they do you, boy. You know you want this cigarette. <laughs> anyway. Look up that nigga interview though. What, what is his name know? again? His name is Fountain Hughes. I'm looking Fountain at Fountain Hughes, Hughes and Electro. Fountain you Rue. know you say Fountain Hughes. Electro is my grandma. Oh, I'm Dang looking her up. Don't be talking no mess about her. The Electro nigga. I'm <laughs> looking her up. Yeah, Fountain Hughes. That's not. Then a, it was a, another. That's nigga. not a conventional slave female name. Well, no, no. F uh, so are you saying Electra she wasn't the one that was Fanny raped? Fanny May. Fanny Lou. Somebody. Well, no, 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 like that. Electro. She was a bad one. Electro. Yeah. What's an old slave bitch name? Ethel. Fanny Lou. Ethel. Mary Jane, Mary McLeod, yeah, yeah, Mary uh, McLeod, Bobby like Sue, Mary McLeod, right. Pearl, Pearl, like a motherfucker. Pearl, my Edmonds, it's got two names. Pearl Ray, Pearl Ray, Pearl Ray. It's always two names. Anna May, mm -hmm. yeah. May May, name so nice you got to say it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Jezebel, Billy right. Ray. Oh, that's a guy. You know what I'm saying? Miss Deep Middle. Uh, what? Deep <laughs> not Electra. Uh -huh. That's a superhero. You know, <laughs> that's funny. The yeah, electric rule. Rest in peace, great, 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 great grandma. Josephine, that's a good one, Melanated. Mammy. Ruth. Oh. <laughs> Ruth. Melba yes. Ruth. Melba Ruth is strong. Estel. My great great granny name is Fannie Mae. Martha. <laughs> Harry. And Hattie Mae. That yeah. was that's Ooh, a Geraldine. Geraldine. Good Mae. one, Chris. Kiss Fannie Mae and Hattie Mae. Mabel. Mabel yes. Jean. Bernice. Damn. Bernice like a motherfucker. Y'all gotta right. go back further. Bernice is, is Maggie. slave offspring. <laughs> Aunt Bertha. <laughs> What's Bernice's Maggie mama like a, name? Maggie is the breeder on this on the Somebody plantation. Somebody said Stacy Dash. Shit. That's terrible. <laughs> shit. Long back. Selma. Right. Celie. Yeah. Somebody said Celie. <laughs> you know what? They Baba mean. Jean. Bobby That's my Jean. auntie name. Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine like a motherfucker. Edna. Yeah, that's a good one. Motherfucking uh, Elaine. Leola, oh man. Leola, like a motherfucker. That's some deep Alabama. Josetta, Thelma. Yeah. That's my mama name. Fuck y'all. <laughs> what's, what's some slave dudes name? Nicodemus, Nazareth, Nazareth, <laughs> Jeremiah, Cleophas. No. I'm naming real family members. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. What's your dad's name? Nat. Oh yeah. My dad oh, nickname. Yeah. He from Alabama. Nathaniel. Uh, it was Baymain. Bay Man, Bay Get Bay your ass over here. That was your dad name? That was my dad's nickname, Bay Man. Everybody South? had nicknames. Alabama. Oh, yeah. Everybody had nicknames. Gordonsville. Oh, okay. Bay Man, get your ass over here. <laughs> my granddaddy's nickname was Chunk. My daddy's nickname was Zeke. Oh, yeah, them big nigga names. Sea Face. Uh oh. Sea Face. Sea Face like a motherfucker. Sea <laughs> 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 Yeah, nigga. <laughs> anyway, I guess we should talk about this shit. Huh. No. They have decided to take Donald Trump's star off the I Hollywood that. Avenue. That ain't right. A riot on there. That ain't right. Because it keep having to get replaced. They peed on it. Yeah, but that ain't right. Why you think it ain't right? The man got the right to say what the fuck he want to say. Even though I don't like what he say, he got the right to say what the fuck he want to say. Yeah, don't right, do, in court. Don't court do. of public opinion says we'd rather shit on the start. Of, I know. I don't it. like the nigga, but I'm not. I say some so wild you say, shit. You say he got the right to say what he wants to say. If he called me a nigga, he got the right to. Right, but you also have the right to. Uh, what face if he walk up to your mom and say some shit? And I know how sensitive you uh, are. I'm gonna kill him. But this is right. But he got see, the right to say it. But nobody's not saying that. Right? Nobody's not saying that. Whatever he want to say. That but, don't make no sense at all. Why not? But what are the repercussions of that? Sure, you can say whatever you want to say, but that, what are the repercussions? He got and to this deal is with part those. of it. He got to deal with well, it, but he can it, say what he wants to say. But that's not his. He don't pay for that. That's a, that's an association. He pay, oh, no, he does okay. not. I so they're saying, no, what they're saying. To, what happened to the old boy who owned the Clippers? 
he, he got the right to say what he want to say? He do. He did, and look what happened. See what I'm oh, saying? So what so happened team. afterwards? What about Don Imus? He, these he right to say what he want to say? He got a right to say what he want to say. These niggas is saying what all old white men say. They all say the same shit them niggas say. They all say it about us. Be prepared what comes out. I'd rather this. know. I'd rather hear a motherfucker say some shit like that than not hear it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, they're going to remove it because it costs too much to keep replacing it. Nobody so else is Donald has that Trump problem. just in trouble because of what he say? I think he's in trouble because of what he say. Do you know what he's done? I don't know all the shit he's done. I know you're a fucking scumbag. I know that much. You know so it's saying? not just what he said about the star. He's done some real corrupt shit. In fact, one of the things that was on the social media shit that was so funny, he talks about make America great again, but he paid these workers in Mexico nickels on the dollar to make all his campaign shit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did he? What? Probably. Know, yeah. There's nothing, everything about this man is ridiculous it's, and it's, all bogus. And I did not know this until, I, I, I was never around white people until I came to L.A. Right. I never, I grew up in Chicago. It's a segregated city. Black people be around black people. White people be around black right. people. Black. I learned about white people when I got out here. And what I have learned from motherfuckers like Donald Trump, I'll be like, that's just how they really think. Yeah. I was lucky enough to come across that book, The um, the Laws of Power. Oh, yeah. Four I, was, I, I didn't know about stuff like that. Yeah. My mouth was on the floor when I heard the shit. Yeah. When I was reading how they think. And all that shit. I was like, oh my God, this is a corrupt world. Mm. But you know, I didn't know it was like that. Oh, it was foul. But you know what? I'm going to say some kind of. They got their foot on your head for a reason. Yeah. Donald What's Trump happening with white. the police is happening for a reason. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, what, Craig? Donald Trump ain't white, though. All right, man. Rich ain't got no color, man. That nigga's just a foul ass shit. Craig Fang. The nigga ain't white. Nigga, Donald Trump is white and a clansman. Okay. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? He ain't white. He's he a rich. orange. Exactly. <laughs> he tangerine. Nigga, daddy yeah. was a clansman. White is a labor classification, nigga. He don't work for nobody. Really? Yeah, nigga. Who you told only, you that? What, when do you have to identify your race? You answer my question with a question. I'm I okay. Uh, <laughs> Neely Fuller told me that. Who? Neely Fuller, look up Neely Fuller, nah, man. I look up. You All the stand books on that you one, buy, man. That's just crazy. made it's before a, you got to the stove. Listen, you know, listen to me though. On the intellectual side of the I'm game, I'm trying to, but you when just said Donald Trump ain't white. Corey, don't, Corey ain't never had, he ain't had a job since Burger King, right? <laughs> this nigga's a legend. Sometimes niggas still got to work. I, I worked at Jewel Osco. I got. I used to sell uh, bear aspirin and deodorant to the Indian store. Okay, all right. I'm when the last time you filled out a job application? Say that again. Fuck that question. When do when when do you have to when do you have to identify your race in life? When you go get a job, when you apply for a student loan, when you have a else? kid, when you have a kid, right? These are all things that you have to do when, when you get you, married. When you get married, go to court, right? right. When you sell Drive a license, license, driver's when license, you fucking, life get, insurance, when you get an LLC, when you. It's all over the place. When you, you get your passport, when you get an enhanced. When you're dealing license. with white people, you got it. They want to know your race. How about mm-hmm. that? Right, right, right. Okay, so. When would Donald Trump have to? When would he have to identify what he is? He's glad to say white. He mm-hmm. what he wants to do is take all the other boxes off of the American he's shit. A, he's one of the people that want to know what's out there, but he's not one of the people that he doesn't have to depend on the system for nothing. He, I mean, he's one of the people that create laws. They don't. They're not white. The motherfuckers are foul human beings. Okay. Not to say white people don't do foul stuff. No, we know they do foul right, that's stuff. Right. I'm, I'm not defending white, but I'm they're just the saying, king of it. But they he's, fucking jack this country. Right. Everybody was getting along. The blacks, the Indians, everybody who was here, they came here and <laughs> fucked over everybody. Those are white people. I agree. <laughs> that did that. This ain't no shit Corey making up. This but, is a fact. But what is Rockefeller? Was, was Rockefeller a white dude or was he a rich scumbag? White. A white rich they scumbag. They got rich doing scumbag white shit. Mm. I see. Okay. You didn't think this through. No, name, name somebody who's transcended the race that's not white. See, here's because the right now LeBron has four hundred and forty million dollars. Right, peanuts, and he's still a nigga that needs to just go in do a, a bank ball. that they're in control of. But there are people, so who, he has nothing. So if white people can make enough money to be if he rich keep making race, schools, they're gonna take it. But answer this: <laughs> then who who's not white? The that people, has transcended. It's not about their race. It's not about transcending your race. So, what is it? So what are you I, saying? I understand what you're saying. It's about the people 
who create the labels and apply the definition to the to the labels, and then it's the people who flit, fit into those label classifications. I, I agree with We're you. We're people I'm, who we don't make the rules. We just fit into the classifications that are given to us. I get that, but so you're trying you classifying Donald Trump right now, and no, I'm trying look, to make look, sense of this. Listen, shit. Look, and so in order to create something, yeah. you have to be outside of it. You can't like if I created this planet, I would have to be outside the planet to create it. If I could have, would have shit. I couldn't be inside yeah. it and build it around me. If I'm building labels to classify what's available to me, I have to I have to define it. You so, my man, but you ain't building shit. No, nah, I ain't building shit. But I gotta de- in order for me to control you, I have to define you. Then I have to get you. If to you accept built that something that was worth something, they'll take it. Right? Because I don't. Because I'm not. Because I don't. You, you know, know who me. they are? It's bigger than white. It's Caucasian leadership. I agree. Ever since they got here, right? They turned this shit into the way they want it to be, which is basically. Chaos. Right. They work mm-hmm. better when it's chaos. When the Mexicans and the blacks and the Asians and the Indians are all arguing with each other about nothing. Right. And they in control of what happens with whatever you arguing about. Okay, here's an example. Uh, is Jerry Jones a football player? No, he's a team owner. He's a football player. He's a team owner, right? So he so so but he works in football, but he's not a football player. He's not putting on pads. But he's a he's a he. But he pays the niggas that do it. He's out, even though he's a part of it, he's outside of it. How did he get the money? I mean, I don't know oil, right? I mean, he's still There's white some. though. I'm trying Let me to figure tell you out <laughs> what, what, at hey, what point do, do do you? Yeah. You're, you I know made so said. much money. Uh, you're not that race something. no more. Craig, go ahead. Where's that? All at? those rich Caucasian folks. Right. I'm talking about in America and around the world. They got their money off the backs of slavery. Right. That's where all that money come from. Most definitely. Slavery. Most this definitely. country was built on free labor as they went to Africa and jacked them people from their home. Right. Now, if, the rich, made them build if, if the rich, no matter their race, could own slaves. But they don't think in terms of You see what I'm saying? If a rich Mexican could own slaves of they another would. race. I'm they just did, saying, actually. If, if, okay, I'm talking about here. Here, it was white people. You know, it was both. It was, you got to remember, Florida was... Sp- had slaves, but Florida was was a Spaniard territory long before it was American territory. You know what I'm saying? We went to war with them over Florida, and we took Florida. But I'm gonna say they got jacked for their shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so it's not just a white thing. Slavery. What when you say white, I, I look at it as European. You know what I'm saying? Because Spanish is just as much European as English. I was just gonna say it's mm-hmm. all of it's the all Caucasian Caucasoid. But All I'm trying to get to is back to the root of what you said. When you said black, Donald brown, Trump is yellow, not white. red, he's rich, but he's not white in the sense that Corey is black and I'm black and you black. I don't understand or, what you just said. Like what? So when somebody looks at Jerry Jones, the owner of a football team, mm-hmm. they don't look at him as being a football player. They don't look at him as being a cornerback, a receiver, a running back. They don't look at him as that. Even though he participates in the game of football as an owner, he's not a position on the field. He's over. That. He the motherfucker that he looked at by all the people who are woke like, oh, that's the white motherfucker in power because he's white. Just it, like when you go to the NBA, it's a white coach a lot of times. Exactly. You be like, he's here because he's white. But you have, Don't ever think you're here for no other reason. I agree. I agree. But you have the white football players. And the white football players aren't the aren't, same as Jerry Jones. Even though they participate in the same sport, they're not the, difference? the same. The difference is Jerry Jones is the owner. He's the nigga that creates the definition. He's the nigga that says, you're a running back, and that's what you do. But they, you can't look at him and say, you're an owner, and that's what you do. You can't do that. They, they will be allowed I, I to be owners. maybe Jerry Jones in football was a bad metaphor. Right. Yeah. Well, I was just using it as an example of, of, of different class systems. I, I can get I can. But I he's can, still I a can, white guy, right? It, it, look cognitively at registering for me. But I want you to take the same definition and give me an example of somebody other than Trump who's transcended race. Because at the end of the day, he's still a rich-ass white motherfucker. And if you're balling and you're black, you're still a rich-ass Trent, nigga. Donald Trump got over 20 women alleging sexual assault. And these dumbass bitches is talking about, oh, Urban Meyer should have did this. You stupid bitches voted for Trump. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is wrong with you bitches? You need to be at home cooking and taking care of the motherfucking house. Because that's what you're really good for. I agree. Because these politics and shit that you're trying to... You trying to justify yourself as being in? You bitches voted for Trump. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> Some real shit. Go home and cook, bitch. The WNBA bitches, these bitches didn't want to play a game. Right. Because they said, 
Oh, our flight was fucked up. Ain't that like a bitch? <laughs> you are you are NBA. You a ball player. You in the city. You got four hours before the game. You sleep two hours and you play the game as best you can. But we got bitches in control now. So a bitch is say we ain't going to play the game even though we here four hours before the game. Right. This shit is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. Right. That's the mentality of a bitch. They think you owe them something. Mm. When did that happen? That just happened recently? I'm just saying. I, that's all I know about bitches. Bitches think you owe them something. No, I'm and I'm not talking about the other bitches. I'm talking about the bitches I know. And all the bitches I've seen, they think you owe them something. Hmm. And with that mentality, because shit, Caucasian leadership play right into that. Your man owe you something. In fact, we're going to take his driver's license, take his passport, and take everything from him. Because because he got you pregnant, he owe you something. Hmm. Look at how the world is <laughs> fucked up now. <laughs> Stupid ass bitches in charge. And a motherfucker be like, oh, Corey hate bitches. That ain't true. I got some bitches I know. They solid than a motherfucker. That's why I'm always able to handle shit with the motherfucking situations I'm in. I'm not on child support. I ain't got no motherfuckers after me like that. And the bitches that is after me, I know what you want. Here, bitch. Go. Okay. That's all it take. Money. Get a bitch mm. some money. She'll shut the fuck up. That's any bitch. All day. You give her enough money, she won't be white no more. <laughs> <laughs> No, it ain't got the problem with, with the them white bitches, they be curious about niggas. That's the main And they wind up shit. fucking niggas. I ain't saying they all marry niggas, but they be curious about niggas. Hell yeah. They and we be, be like, curious back. The black and guy. they be curious back. <laughs> they be curious yeah. back. Let me ask you a question then. What country is black in? Where, where, where is that on the map? What did he say? Country where black. is black on the map? Oh, this is a nice loaded question. Where is? I just want to know where is black. He said, what is black? Where, where, where is black? black? Where, so you're saying where literally people black. Like, because where is people black? refer and they use that it's a, towards... Uh, where is black? I want to know. We what, Can I buy a plane ticket to black? Is there a place I can go and vacation? That's, you can buy a ticket to America. Right, okay. Well, see some people they got African names descent. to places that you could buy a ticket to. So, okay. He's saying black people have no country. And if you want to go to a place where there's a lot of black people, it's places in Africa where you can go... Where the government is black. In fact, they taking back all that shit. Them white people, right. gangster mm-hmm. during apartheid. They telling them, unass yeah. this land, mm-hmm. or you will be killed. Give it back, right? Right. Which but, I love shit like that mm-hmm. because they shouldn't have took it in the first place. Well, black is the artificial. motherfuckers who call themselves South Africans, right? Black That's is- what white people call themselves who live in Africa now. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm a South African. Right. No, you the fuck. They, England. They call themselves Afrikaners too. What the fuck is that? It's just one of the things. Afrikaners. They call them Africa. Yeah. Black. They took the land And now the black people Over there taking it back mm-hmm. But what was, what was the point You were trying to make but, but the Terms the like black and white Are artificial terms That are only used In this country To describe labor Nigga And when you accept Those terms Or those definitions Of you You are basically Empowering the nigga That, that labeled you that Black is a term for labor? It's a, it's a labor classification. That's why you have to Be self-defined So you can step outside Of those de- definitions Of you that were given to you You know what I'm saying Culturally we are it's our responsibility to define ourselves we should be telling them people what they be, should be calling us we shouldn't be saying i'm black or whatever the fuck you are i'm white you should say nigga we I'm, told them to call us black what should no. you say i they mean say, I'm, african americans yeah. like nigga it's black call i'm what black. Uh, what should you well, say well i don't know what we should come up with cuz i'm not in leadership you they know should call saying? us elected no but if somebody were to say oh yeah i want you to meet my friend craig oh craig and you know people just ask oh really what is he what's his background what's his ethnicity whatever what would you classify what do you say? Honor I'm and a, what i mean me personally i would say i'm human Get the fuck out I'm of here. I'm a human, nigga. <laughs> I'm a human of African... You're not getting no pussy off that call. <laughs> <laughs> but is he a human? Wouldn't the bitch cute, though? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a human. She's a human? Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a nice-looking human being. We about to come through. You got a girl from look, the old I'm, boy? Look. He's a nice-looking okay, human I'm, being. <laughs> he said I'm a nice She gonna nice be like, do we have a I'm a human. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motherfucking human. Okay, so when she says, what nationality is he? Because I like black guys. Look, call me a black. It's like, a, it's like Barry Sanders walking around every day and they say, what's up, Barry? What are you? He say, I'm a running back. That's what I, I'm a running back. I'm not a man. I'm a motherfucking running back. Running back is a, is a labor classification within football. Nigga, we all human. If you can speak. That's what we all are. But when you, it, look, man, words are traps, man. But when who's you, taking that literally? When somebody asks yeah, somebody, I know, but human. I'm just saying, huh? anybody else? 
If she said I, I like black guys, then I'm gonna say, bitch. I mean, I know what you mean, and I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna hit that pussy, <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a human. Are you gonna? And fuck I call like myself it? a nigga. Because that's how I was raised, and and that's the type of shit I was raised. You around. a pink dick nigga oh, all day God long, damn nigga. It. God dang it! But what I'm saying is that's very important, man. Because words are spells. Let me <laughs> when you spell a word, and or when you say a word, you basically are impressing upon a de- impressing a definition on the people listening to you. Like when I say. <laughs> That's what you're doing, they right? Will, they will lock your ass up in a straight jacket yeah, yeah, if you yeah. talk in some places. Be yeah, like, come get me then, nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit, nigga. They'll be like, lock his human ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Where do we put him, though? We don't have a cell for humans. Yeah, I'm not one of them niggas that's scared to die. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I love my family, and I love my people. And if that, if I got to go because I'm a free thinker, then nigga, come get me, nigga. But I'm not about to be walking around here scared. I don't give a fuck about Man, fuck all this shit, nigga. Craig. Craig. Craig, stop it! Craig. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> he is Craig. a nightmare walking, psychopath Craig. talking, psychopath king talking. of the jungle, just to get hey. stuck and living life like a firecracker, quick as a fuse. Vendetta's a dead fact. The colors are cute. Corn in her hair, trying to get corn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy than a motherfucker. Wow. Oh, I love it. That's what we are, man. We human, huh? We human, straight up, man. The hue and the man. Okay. You was the original man. That's what we are. Me what hue are, what hue are you? Nigga, well, actually, what hue am I? Uh-oh. All these other motherfuckers are what you call polymorphisms. Nigga, uh, look that up. Yeah, I'm going to look it up for you. Polymorphism. Nigga, that's, that's, gonna look it up for you. that's an adaptation. <laughs> if you're looking for a name to make them mad, just say, I be original. I be original, nigga. Like the big homie just said. Whatever I mean, the big homies tell me we are, that's what we are. I be original. That makes some people mad because they really can't so argue just say about I'm it. OG. You Did you OG. see the lady who had the phone showing off the look uh, Caucasian basketball team? It was girls. No, I ain't seen that. And they no. was making monkey noises when the black girls was playing. Uh, oh, this is that same night. Because they, they was losing. What? Talking about. What? Yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> they was <laughs> acting like the black girls was that. monkeys because the black that. girls yeah, was more winning. athletic. Oh. So they was over there. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, I, with yeah. they fathers and family and everything. Wow, and this so lady had the show you. phone, like putting these motherfuckers on blast. Yeah. They call that, but that's the way it's always been. Shit, let me tell you something. If white people was just as athletic as black people, the NBA wouldn't have but two or three niggas in it. Straight up. Yeah. And if they, one and team got a black man, the rest of the team got to have a black man because it won't be fair if <laughs> if not. That's exactly what happened. Mm. That's why they got so many niggas and. In, in the Hall of Fame, yeah. they making the rules up. What the motherfucker said from now on. And T.O. about Terrell. Just because T.O. <laughs> didn't want to be a day little funky He made shit. his own. He said, okay, I'm going to make my own T.O. ceremony. T.O. always was like, he and was I, I believe. gym last night. I see him there all the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Terrell always be hooping. He cool as a motherfucker. Yeah, T.O. cool. cool. Yeah. He got some selfishness shit about him too. Yeah. Yeah. But that shit hid for guys like Tom Brady. Tom Brady selfish than a motherfucker. That's why he mm. had war with the coach. Because he want to do what the fuck he want to do. But they don't want to say that about him. I didn't know they was Like they do it to... Hell yeah. Tom Brady had his motherfucking... Uh, what is the guy? His personal trainer dude that began niggas that shit. Mm-hmm. Steroid. Belichick is. didn't like it. He told right. him to get the fuck away from here. Right. Not Tom Brady mad. But you don't, you don't hear it said like that. You hear a whole bunch of... Oh, Brady and Belichick are beefing. Brady mad because he <laughs> can't do what the fuck he want to do. <laughs> He a spoiled ass white boy. Yeah. Where they made rules in the league where you can't hit them a certain way. Right. You can only hit the black quarterbacks a certain way. Uh, they uh, knocked uh, Cam uh. Newton the fuck out. Oh mm. man. And they get penalized. They didn't get penalized. It ain't the same penalty. If you hit Tom Brady, oh you, motherfucker, you, your ass might get thrown out the game. You might. So get I don't a, really honor none of that shit. They talk about Tom Brady to go. You might get a strike, nigga. Like felony. Tom Brady got caught cheating with shit. <laughs> Fuck all them motherfuckers that you got to make rules for so they can fit in. If it wasn't for them rules, them motherfuckers would be on the line, blocking. Straight up. Because all that athleticism in the motherfucking NFL, dog. I'm going to tell you, that Hall of Fame going to look like that every year. Whole bunch of black guys and one white dude you fit in. (laughs) Punter. (laughs) Did you say a A punter? punter. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds like I'm bogus, but it's the truth. All the Hall of Fame is going to be a whole bunch of black guys. They got a white guy this year? Great. There's niggas that can punt, but that ain't even their main position. They won't let you. They they the ball. I, I say it again, Craig. They won't let you. It's too easy, nigga. They're like, mm-hmm. no, you can't get into the league that easy way, nigga. If you don't run a 4-3, if you ain't 6'6", 300, 
You're not and getting black. Don't know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, right. human, <laughs> human, Nate, Nate watch Shannon. yourself, there watch you yourself. Selection. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up, because that's, that's what the NFL is full of, polymorphism. Yeah, that's, uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> Freaks and mutant strength niggas. Yeah. That nigga, <sighs> that nigga said mutant strength niggas. Well, I've been getting some crazy texts these last few weeks right. during the show. You ever get mm. motherfuckers calling you off Instagram and shit? I gotta start blocking motherfuckers. Niggas be man. calling you? You can call on man, Instagram now. This motherfucker's random. He is calling you. He said, he said, you better turn be that me. setting off. <laughs> <laughs> you better turn that, that off. Crazy, is it, but Craig, I want you to dog walk this ass. <laughs> <laughs> dog walk my ass. Uh, <laughs> Craig, dog walk my ass. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, Craig, autism went untreated. Fuck you, oh, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Let's go on, get the bullshit over. It's a part of the show that we call these news talked about bullshit. All right. I know, I know that boy got a pee over there. Again? <laughs> <laughs> no. Rodmanovich got out of it. All right, so let's start it off. Well, you were just talking about protesting. I know you say you know you're not with it and all that. Anyway, Black Lives Matter um, protesters crashed the wedding of one of the cops that fatally killed unarmed Stephen Clark last month when he was in his grandmother's backyard. They claimed he had a gun, but it was his, only his cell phone. Between the two officers, they shot Stephen 20 times. Uh, the protesters found out where that officer was having his wedding at this weekend because of all the posts that the uh, place that he was having it at put up. Um, they did not give the guy's name. They said that they're keeping that from in the uh, media. So maybe if Bullshit. you go on media so maybe if you go on black lives matter they might have his name up i didn't i didn't check there but they might have it they definitely knew it because they knew where he, where to go anyway um they entered the area i guess where he was having his groomsmen and they were getting ready for the wedding like right the pre-wedding um and they were asking him they sat down like if you go online and you look it up there's actual video because they videotaped it the whole thing of them coming in sitting down talking to them and telling them but before they got thrown out um, they were asking him, they said, hey, so how do you sleep at night knowing that you killed an unarmed man? And while they were throwing him out, they were, you know, of course, hesitating. They were trying to st stick around. And then one lady, uh, you can hear a shout out, um, you know, you murdered him. Others were yelling out, stuff like that. And then, of course, one uh, protester yelled out, um, you know, that he'll never be able to, he'll never be able to have a wedding. Here you are. This is supposed to be your happiest day of your life. I hope you never forget this. You know, so they were, they threw the protest protesters out. Now people are like uh, really upset, saying, "Oh, we think that there's certain times that people should do things like that." That was that man's wedding. Of course, you can have people clashing over what was done. But the founder of Black Lives Matter, Tanya Faison, told the media that the group started to plan the confrontation after they found out where it was where the wedding was being held, and she thinks that they need to be approached in spaces and places where they're more vulnerable. She said, now here's where you're going to disagree. She said, we're not violent. We're not going to give them what they brought to our community. We're not going to hurt anyone, but we are going to make them feel very uncomfortable, and they should because someone is dead. And like I said, you can go online and you can actually view the video of them with this confrontation with those cops Damn. at a wedding at the guy's wedding so well i mean like whoever said that there's a place to protest i i say fuck you yeah god damn it you know i'm not with protests i'm with being at the wedding and you know i i, I anything go you kill an unarmed person you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. but i'm saying like why do people think that you are supposed to be kind when After you protest? Could, yeah. Right. The murder of an unarmed man, yet another unarmed man or mm -hmm. woman or child. Right, they didn't go in there and attack him. And somebody they has the audacity to say, oh, you shouldn't have went to his wedding. <laughs> Them the motherfuckers who need to be brought out in the front also and made examples out of. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. If you should be a new law, if you're a cop and you kill somebody, you should have to speak at their funeral. Why would you put mm. the family through that shit? Yeah, nigga, they don't want to Well, you got him. the answer to somebody, nigga. Well, come on and talk to us mm. about why you did what you did. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, they, we just need to start shooting cops. Well, they still haven't had an answer as to what happened with that, <laughs> with that young man. If you shoot a black person and all that get off shit, we need to be shoot you back. But if you look the case up, his brother actually showed up to one of the council, city council meetings. If you go online and look, his younger brother ended up showing up. And I don't know if you ever, did you see that? 
and he went into the city council while they were all talking because nobody is ha giving them any kind of answers and nobody knows if these cops are anything's going to happen to them and he went and you know where all those folks are sitting with their yeah. microphone stuff and jumped up and just turned around and sat there and was just saying whatever he wanted to say it was kind of cool Oh yeah, well, yeah. So you know stuff like that. that. So so like order, order, order in the court. And his and he's like, hold up, yeah. He he lost. He bless his heart. He lost his young guy. They got him talking at the funeral with the Al Sharpton there, trying to trying to help him out. Anyway, fuck all the motherfuckers. I know how corrupt police know that you're you're. I mean, there's like a class of citizens. They're not gonna attack citizens. Who live in certain area codes? Not at all. They're just not going to do it. You're protected. Your area code, mm. yeah, protects you. If you live where the Caucasian people live, they are basically assuming you have representation. Right. Right. They're going to be okay. They can fight us. They can. They can possibly win something. Right. But all you motherfuckers who live um, uh, uh, in the area where it's good fishing. <laughs> they gonna be on that bullshit. <laughs> you don't never see on um, cops them setting up the, uh, the the prostitutes things where they be in the back of the U-Haul with the shit on. You know what I mean? Having been, you know, you don't never see them setups. Like uh, I seen something online in Chicago, the police set up a a sting operation where they had a <laughs> a truck full of Jordans and Nikes. You seen that shit? And they Fuck. parked it in the middle. They of the want people to buy hot shoes or something. <laughs> but they had it unlocked. You know what I'm saying? And luckily, the people in that neighborhood were smart enough to see past it, and they start pulling out their cameras, like, "Look at these police!" And they found where they were. They need hiding. a truck full of opioids in front of the police station. <laughs> and watch all them dope fiend ass cops. I need to fucking put, stick the fuck pills in the donuts. Man. Right. Oh. <laughs> Have a donut pill giveaway. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's cops funny. ain't about shit. They know you know you ain't about shit. Let's say you a cop who not foul. You can't help the people. You just getting the check. Mm. I don't call the cops. I don't give a fuck what's happening. I ain't finna call the cops. I call the cops maybe for a car accident because it's paperwork that has to be done because I'll get blackmailed without And they don't even want to honor. They don't do that anymore. You really? have to you lie and say that somebody's injured. So if you had like a little fender bender hit and run or something that somebody's arguing with, they don't want to come for that. Right. They don't anymore. Well, you, you have, have to, to lie. go to the police station. Somebody's hurt. File yeah. a report. Yeah. And then you write the report up. So no, if, if somebody like, hurt, they'll send somebody. But if nobody's hurt, they're like, well, just fucking exchange information. Yeah, that's it. No matter how you are going to the fight. Station. Yeah. And go to the police station. You better go to the police station because that other motherfucker goes to the police saying. station. Right, they gone. Mm -hmm. But you can't even file no claim without no good paperwork, right? I seen a car. I seen a you car that was parked like and a truck people. left and damn near ripped the whole front off of that <laughs> motherfucker and, and drove off going. into the night. <laughs> Fuck did they do? That shit happened. That shit happened. Shit. I remember we used to go up there to that. Runyon Canyon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me and my wife, she parked her car on that little, it's a little small street. Yeah. A little tight well, one. One of them city trucks, them garbage trucks came through there. Man, that motherfucker towed the side of that car up. Mm. Damn. And everybody said it was a city truck. Right. I said, did somebody get the license or something? They was like, no, but it was one of them big city trucks. Uh-huh. <laughs> we tried to file a report. They act like they didn't know what the fuck we was talking about. Anything yeah. is a cold game. Yeah. Ain't no justice. Motherfucker, get away with whatever you can while you can. Because it's all going down right Man. about now. Wish you would be a sucker-ass nigga and try to do right out here. Fuck right. <laughs> Fuck what's right. I do what's right because I have a moral type of thing. The only thing I don't do right is motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. I ain't, I ain't going to even put that out there. But I, I, I started to go there, but I ain't going to go there. Started to go what? Ah! About what I, the only thing I do wrong consistently. <laughs> The only thing I, I it's only one thing I do wrong consistently, but other than that, I'm a good dude. <laughs> other than that, I don't fuck up. Bitches is my problem. That's my problem. I ain't gonna lie. You knew that shit. Thought you was gonna <laughs> say some <laughs> new shit. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, that's what it is. Uh, I can stand on that. Yeah, but you maybe a lot of people got like one thing. Like what? No, I'm saying like the, take 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 it in the sense of character development, right? Like the good guy with small flaws or the bad guy. That's actually good, but got a flaw. Like, mm -hmm. this nigga's an incredible person. He just happens to kill people. Oh! <laughs> huh. That's why they made you like Frank White. Killing people some cold shit, because you taking something you can't get back. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, you can't Take a motherfucker life, man. They just gone. You, mm. you took away their time here on this planet, and you know, 
You don't know what come after this. Look this at might the be all you got. Oceans 11, Oceans 8, Oceans 9, Oceans 10. <laughs> what? They got a whole cast of likable, wonderful criminals. Killers. These niggas are stealing like a motherfucker. Them homosexuals, homie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the all-girl movie? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about Sandra the Bullock. Bitches suck pussy. Oh, here they we go. They in Hollywood. How you think they work? Sucking pussy? Show me a motherfucking Hollywood who work consistently who ain't motherfucking getting fucked in the ass or fucking in the head. Name one. <sighs> that works consistently? Works consistently. Nigga, the grizzly bear that be in all the movies, nigga. Kevin Hart. Ain't nobody fucking that grizzly bear. Why do everybody <laughs> talk about Kevin Hart, Here man? we go. Because I named somebody who ain't giving up no ass and making shit happen. Kevin Hart. I just, I'm going to tell you something, man. It just blows my mind. Because I know if I say any Maybe other name, you're like, people. Yeah. <laughs> I think what it is, real. people know that I'm close. I have, a, I have a place in my heart for Kevin. No, you, you just asked me. You don't got a place in your ass. Kevin name <laughs> yeah. pop up a lot around me. Like no, but you just me. asked him that question. And he just said he has his you. honest Hey, one motherfucker that ain't getting fucking ass and fucking in the ass. Right. That is successful or is I got one. The motherfucker dead, but I don't think that nobody they fucked him to death. Hattie McDaniels. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? That's the first that <laughs> black maid in the Gone the, with the, the Wind. The first black woman to win an Oscar. They wasn't even fucking with niggas like that. Bitch was sucking dick with her eyes, <laughs> buck. They was like bucky <laughs> eyes. That bitch said. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I got another one. Got another one. No, all right. Well, people uh, are weighing in on Eric. You get mad when you talk about gay shit. Uh, no, it's just. No, not when you you just assume you're making assumptions on people and you have no idea. They said Morgan Freeman. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman gay is a happy meal. Oh God, here we go. See <laughs> who fuck more. If I could guess, I would say who fuck Morgan Freeman. Uh, All them niggas on Sesame Street. <laughs> oh, Mr. Oh Hooper does big nuts in Morgan Freeman. <laughs> who? Mr. Hooper, nigga. This nigga says Sesame Street. God. Oh my God. Samuel L. Jackson. Let me know. Gay as a motherfucker. Yeah, he be like, get that motherfucking dick away from my motherfucking asshole. <laughs> Samuel Jackson ain't gay. I hope he's not. All right, if you say so. I heard about that Star Wars shit. You gotta say niggas <laughs> Okay, so Kevin Hart. You, you keep say saying Kevin out. Hart. Why you say Kevin Hart? What about uh cause Kevin ain't gay? There's never nothing. Uh what's that nigga that put you in that movie? Who? That nigga that put you in that movie. Man, that I've been man, in a few movies. Nah, that white man that put where you were talking backwards. The wedding ring. Everything ringer. you said was backwards. Yeah, the wedding ring. Who was that director? Will Packer helped Will me get Packer. that movie. Look, I don't know nothing about Will Packer being gay. That's what I'm saying. Know. See, there's certain people he don't know how. He okay, doesn't know the other one. Yeah, but he, he knows the other one's going to fact. Fact. But he's not in movies. He's not an actor. No, but he's yeah. in Hollywood. You said well, in Hollywood. Let me Hollywood. say this. Let me say this. If it was, if it was, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I probably wouldn't buzz my man out because he did shit to help me. But I'm just talking about just being on some 100 He's shit. talking about who he thinks. I ain't never watched that nigga do nothing that made me be like he got that urge to merge. You don't know for sure. He's Denzel about Washington. Urge to merge. Right. <laughs> right. Denzel Washington, the equalizer too. I don't know, man. I ain't never I seen nothing, that, baby. Yeah. I ain't never seen that. I'm just naming mm-hmm. so you, you straight win. man. You win. Yeah. You win. You want me to say people Why you like name all black Dwayne guys, though? Johnson? Because he's not. That's I, what I, you were thinking. He's yeah. masculine, not homo men. So What's the definition, definition of masculinity, D? Of masculinity? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Exactly. Nigga, what you looking at? Fucking. No, they got that commercial where they got all them. Faggot motherfuckers on there talking about masculinity. You seen that shit? No. no I you seen it, Frank? Uh, no. All right. I don't know okay. the proper definition. They just talk about masculinity and trying to motherfucking make it in a way where gay guys can be masculine. Oh, okay. I'm talking about openly like real thin, frail gay guys. Right, right. One was like, it's being human. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, nigga, not human. <laughs> oh, see? They are human. They just choose to fuck niggas. I have a fuck. definition for masculinity is Wait, it's your own or the, the presence exact one? of of male strength. Okay. The presence of male strength. So He's the presence masculine. of male strength can't be a gay guy that's strong? Yeah, it can be. Yeah. So that's what they were saying on the commercial. But if a gay goo, if a gay dude is cut up and strong and he opens his mouth, it doesn't mean he loses his masculinity, but he loses something about his strength. Motherfucker, look, I don't give a fuck how cut up you are. If you talk like this, 
motherfucking niggas will fight you. Yeah, that's some real shit. Okay, so without opening his mouth, though, if you looked at him, he classified as masculine. Say that again? If he didn't open his mouth and you looked at one and he was all cut up and big guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's masculine. And then he was like, listen, bitch. But he loses a lot like, when he does that. Like, they be ready to fight you. Give a fuck how strong you are. When, the, when they be I'll talking like, like that, though, Buddhist be strokes. all feminine and stuff, what they doing is trying to show other niggas who live that lifestyle that they submitting to another dude. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it you know, I don't know if a mother, I don't know if motherfuckers would really act like that, you know what I'm saying, if it wasn't for that. You know what I'm saying? Craig voice makes him masculine in that outfit. You know outfit. what? I can't. I if can't. he didn't talk and he had on that outfit, I'd you know be what I'm like, I'll beat his ass. Just because of that outfit. <laughs> it is the bullshit that take time. It is the bullshit that. I'm fucking with What's the pocket for? I don't even know. <laughs> you know what? Stop. I can't. I want this pocket. She got on a tank top with a like, pocket. Why do women wear men's clothes when they fuck with other women? What's the point of that? To be masculine. Right, but what? Aren't they trying to send a signal to the bitches? That they're more than just a human? No matter how much money they got. <laughs> You'd have to Especially ask like one. My deal don't you'll, game. You'll have well, to bitch. ask one. That's what I'm saying. She's trying to show her that I can, you know, be that energy that you're missing. Mm. I don't know. Me either. I don't know what Chat room going in on different people. Oh, they've been murdering me since the inception of the podcast. Inception? Yeah, nigga. The beginning. I don't nigga. be capping her for so days. I just on. don't like assumptions. My mic ain't on? Just because I might look at somebody and think, yeah, she's a lesbian. Again? No, I'm saying because everybody's going along with you like, yeah, DB standing up for the gays. No, I don't. I've never come on here and said, oh, I love the gay." I'm just, I don't like when people make assumptions on their own that somebody is something. Ice when tea. you don't have facts. Yes, yeah, Carl Lewis ain't gay. Uh, Ice-T. He's in Hollywood. You're Very successful. Good. Carl Lewis is not gay. He's the just track like, star? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear how you sang the national anthem? All gay. You ever seen him fuck a nigga? All gay men can fast. run fast. <laughs> <laughs> I see the fuck a nigga in 10.2 seconds. <laughs> he talk about don't assume and shit, goddammit. All right. Well, well, you see people who gay and you ain't got to fucking assume. You just look at them and know it. What are you talking about? Right, Mark but, most, but a lot of the people that you talk about don't, don't look and so. have those ways, those mannerisms, but you'll still like say, who? oh, they gay. Like who? A lot of the actors that you were talking about. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Mark like, Wahlberg. Like who? you just said, what was Mark the other black? No, what was that other black she actor? Looking for you name? to bail out. No, I'm not. I can't remember the guy's name. Ooh. God, it was a black actor. Denzel. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Was it? And then you were like, "Yeah, he's gay." Well, what ga- what gave you that notion? Because when Ricky Harris was alive, he said Morgan Freeman faggot ass was trying to come at him on the set of was it Hard Rain? Not nah, the movie they did. Right, right. With uh, uh, with Ricky Harris, uh, and, and uh, uh, Easy Reader, so homosexual you're, ass. So you're he taking told that me, incident. He told me this faggot ass motherfucker up here, man. I'm about to knock the shit out. Just keep on flirting this shit. Said that about Morgan Freeman, faggot ass. Oh, he was like, man, I don't eyes, believe he lied. The mm. okay. <laughs> there you go. So that, so that's your reason. You okay, dick, that's ain't your boy. Ain't you, boy? Suck dick expeditiously. And that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's the only one that you've heard. I've never heard of that until now. So, but I'm just well, saying I that's the only because, time. I mean, like, I know Ricky Harris, rest in peace, he passed on. Right. But I don't believe he was lying. Ricky was my OG. Hmm. Ricky wasn't lying about that motherfucker. He ain't going to just make that shit up about that motherfucker. Right. Mm-hmm. Morgan okay, Freeman well. like bitches too, but he a fucking nigga too. Him and George Wallace. <laughs> oh, Bruce Willis God. George Wallace I heard him and I said Bruce Willis He's asking you still about people He's going Bruce Willis line. I think Bruce Willis is homosexual See Because of the we go. company he keep hey. Who Demi Moore George Clooney George I knew Clooney he was homosexual came? When he had Obama at his party I was like Oh that's a <laughs> That's a dick in the booty party Right there oh, A back door party <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Alright Christian Bell Batman nigga Who Christian Bale. Who is that? He'd have to see a picture of him. He played Batman. He played one of the Batman. Yeah. Which one did he play? The one before. He got ben caught yelling at somebody it. on the set. Remember? They had the, the thing oh, on the set. Oh, the no. one that made that big ass jump. Oh, that's that a white supremacist thing, motherfucker. There he go Man, now that's again. That's, there he go. I heard that <laughs> I motherfucker see, is a uh, racist. Well, he heard. well, at least he's hearing. Yeah, he's I heard it from a motherfucker. I stand on it. I ain't going to put his name out there because he's still in the game. Ricky ain't in the game. That's why I said it. Mm-hmm. He can't hurt Ricky now. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But a motherfucker told me that's a motherfucking that's a racist ass white boy. Uh, 
That motherfucker who played that Batman. Huh. Ben Affleck. People who work around him. The underground nigga network. <laughs> Go ahead, D. I know you got some more bullshit. Oh, boy, I didn't know. You guys were talking. Nigga, He's what's still naming name names. Gay nigga? Who? The nigga that was a security guard before he died. He talking about Will Smith. No, nigga. I'm talking about... <laughs> Take the uh, moonshine away. Shit. Never really. I'm talking about the nigga from Different Strokes. That's what he got his whole life. Different Ooh. Strokes. The oh, 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 oh. Different Strokes, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Gary Coleman wasn't gay, nigga. Man, I saw Gary Coleman at the go. improv when I first moved out here. <laughs> here we go. And he was real little. No. He you will bullshit. fuck whoever want to lay up with him. <laughs> A lot of them niggas be getting in them little ADT vans at the end of the night. Them look, them look, the uh, I don't know. I typed in, the- was Gary Coleman gay? And the first thing that comes out is media takeout was reporting that Gary Gary may have been gay. May have. Here Spoiler we go again. They dug up some old movies of him and his best friend over nine years ago. Here's the videos. You can make your own opinion. And I didn't even know that. All I did this was. all I, right here. When I saw him the, at the his improv. His best friend got him standing I on I saw how he was like standing there looking dance. little and looking. Facing I was him. like, he want to fuck anything. <laughs> What's them vans they pick up the, 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 the disability motherfuckers the access in? Access vans? I yeah. Think. That's, yeah. No, that's for seniors. Oh, it? what's the disability? Well, it's one of them vans because the little bitch who was the uh, uh, midget. Who used to be at the comedy store? He got the little rise, the little rate. R- yeah, thing, she right? used to be begging for motherfuckers to go home with her and shit. It's just, I ain't want to fuck her because uh, how she looking, I know she'll tell. Oh, man, he got some footage. It might be. Uh, what? Oh. What? Look at that. Gary Coleman, dog. When you little, man. When he was you, a little kid there. When you little like that, you just want some human contact. <laughs> you a fucker, man. <laughs> Oh my You'll Here we go You'll be like man Look long as somebody Here with me <laughs> Oh my god You want some ass You can have some ass Just don't leave It's lonely oh, at night that nigga. That's how, how that little Many people do They'll fuck anything <laughs> Anybody under him. five feet Will him. fuck anything they, they, get, they don't want to be lonely At night it'd be lonely as hell they, You know they buried that nigga In his security uniform <laughs> I can't stop. You ain't shit for I that can't. Craig. They put his guard card on his chest. That nigga was real little though. He was probably about four feet. He wasn't yeah, he was as small. little as Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis way smaller than him. I know Emmanuel Lewis gay. He got that gay face. He. I can't. Can we move on? All right. Uh, so people are weighing in on Eric Benet's latest IG post. It he, was he gay? It it, it was a meme <laughs> that said. I saw him on the plane with a nigga. Uh, Let me know when you're done. Honey. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> all right, so there's this meme. It said, rap artist, if all you rap about is killing black people, degrading black women, abusing drugs, materialization, living a low life, you are not an artist. You are a black face for white supremacy. You are being used to help destroy your own people. I agree with that. What, what about if you fuck men? Okay, so here we go. So then the paparazzi ran into one rapper coming out of a restaurant and that I was Fat Joe see, and they asked <laughs> Fat Joe his thoughts of that they said what do you think about Eric Benet p- posting this thing up about the rappers nowadays and he said Eric's tripping that rap's just entertainment it's just music and songs and rappers are not proxies and a proxy is a person authorized to act on the behalf of another to white supremacy so but Fat Joe said white supremacy no he said he's not there he's they're not Eric a Benet. proxy First of all, you went after rap artists because that don't blackball you in your music industry yeah. or if you want to do some Hollywood shit. Right. But Eric Benet, tell the truth. Do you Have you ever fucked a man in the <laughs> asshole? <laughs> I'm asking you. Corey Hoke, 5150. Have you ever fucked a man in the asshole, Eric Benet? <laughs> have you ever broke the threshold <laughs> of a masculine man? A back door party. <laughs> back door party. What would you do if Eric Bernay ran up on you? If he would, we've me had him as a guest. Huh? He was a guest. He was on a the guest 50 on 50 the 50 show. 50 show back at, in the Conquer Room. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he came and, and I was very friendly as I am. Oh wow! But one day I saw him on a plane. Here we go. And him and that nigga was going at it on the plane. They was a couple. Oh wow! And I, I know he didn't know that. I was on the plane. Right. He didn't know because he, if he'd have saw me, he probably would have played it off. Stop, Corey, up there. Right, 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 and right. I look back, them niggas was like, "Oh man, oh, what is that?" <laughs> like, if a- ever you're in my arms again, 
Yeah. I don't know why I love Eric Benet, so I can't. I, you I'm don't a big care fan. if a nigga gay. You'll fuck him, D. <laughs> what does that have to do with fucking somebody? <laughs> what are you talking about? She a fucking gay man. Oh my god, he's just he's something's wrong. If you know a dude gay, will you fuck him? Enough said. <laughs> there was a no. There was Enough said. You eat an insect and fuck a gay man. No, I'm, I'm saying if I didn't know, but I don't see how you can't know. And did you just spill something? I heard something just go all over the place. Oh, that was a, uh, cup that was oh. fucked up. Man. Anyway, whatever. With your loud self, gay just dude, trying to. Fucker. I could go somewhere so bad, but you ain't gonna hear about me fucking no motherfucking gay man. Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I could well, go. You can talk about somewhere. whatever, bitch. Look, I didn't fuck some bitches that are not presentable to people. <laughs> we already all know I that. I didn't fuck bitches that I'd be like, I fucked. Up. <laughs> well, we all already know that. So what? You talk about it, right? What else you get? You learn how to fuck hitting fives. That's how you learn how to. Here fuck. we go with his numbers. <laughs> okay, know, let's really no move on. on no no, things. let's move on. Here we go. Okay. You so, can come up with some shit. Come up the, with it, nigga. Uh, the Mel B and her ex, uh, the Her- Belafonte, right? Their divorce the is nigga. finally over. Belafonte. It's been going on. It's, it's been going on for like over a year, year and a half. I ain't anyway, never heard no good news about Mel B. Go ahead. After the judge finally closed the case this, in this long, drawn-out divorce battle, um, they ordered her to cover his lawyer fees at 350000 um, and he threw out the dual restraining orders, but he added that they definitely need to stay at least 200 yards away from each other. They were also ordered, both of them, to set aside a million dollars to pay their back taxes once their home that is up for sale sells. And she must pay him 5000 a month in child support for their daughter that they have shared custody of. The daughter's now six. He said he's still not all the way satisfied with the ruling because he was denied visitation with his stepdaughter. That's the 10-year-old she has with Eddie Murphy. Why do you give a fuck about a stepdaughter? Hold on. He says that he helped raise that little girl since birth, so it's been 10 years. (laughs) So he's not happy because he was denied that. I ain't never heard no story about Mel B that was positive. Hmm. This is a ratchet bitch. Okay, you got that money up out of Eddie. Okay, bitch, congratulations. She's still getting, and the daughter's only t- ten, and she gets fifty-one thousand a month. I wow. heard. I remember. I remember when that bitch threw a drink on somebody on this show because they said something about her chaotic ass relationship situation. She oh, threw a drink oh, on was Simon. it? Oh, was it the show? Yeah, the show really? that she's on. Right. Now. What a lousy bitch! Wow. I never heard a positive story about this bitch. If, they, if, they, if it's a positive story about this bitch, they got to make one. Well, I don't know her very well, so I don't know. Yeah. Because right. he said something about the, the, the drama she be in. She was like, ah, how dare you put me on blast? Yeah. <laughs> it was all in the news as it it's was, right but yeah. Hit. If she do that, is it right to fire on her? Who? Oh, yeah, yeah. A bitch woman throw a drink on your son, is, would he just wipe himself off? That's what, that's what the world think. I, I well, if he's like on this, TV and everything, on the of course, sure. yeah. It does depend on the circumstances. If a bitch throw a drink on me and I feel like I can't get to her immediately, I'll just be like, all right, all I right, just have to get it later. Right, so. right. But I ain't no bitch going to be comfortable throwing no drink on me because no. yeah. I'm going to do something. No. I'm going to do something. No. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right, let me. I get, got free time, bitch. I'm gonna fit one last thing in. I know it's getting late. Anyway, try to read I, it, dude. Try to read it. I I'm d- doing quite well, actually, Corey. Uh, anyway, as you all know, the preseason NFL games do start. Some some do this weekend, and we have the first male cheerleaders to join some squads. Now you know them niggas. Of gang. course, there's already been some male stuntmen Look on this, certain squads, but they were only ass, they were only there. So some people are saying, oh, there were already men on squads. No, those men were for the more difficult cheer stunts. These are actual cheerleaders now. There's two that are on the Rams and one and one on the uh, Saints. That so these three are will be participating the, for the very first time as male cheerleaders. That wow. motherfucker got a dick stuck in his yeah. throat. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga put a boost to the two black dude. Look at the two black dude. Yeah. And they will be on the LA Rams cheerleading team. So if they team. cheering, like, you know how they be right out no, there. No, they said they're going to be dancing this. right with them. They're going to be the exact same dancers. They be cheering. You know motherfuckers going to yell out shit. Have you ever been to a football yeah, game? Yeah, nigga, oh, especially right terrible. Now. They finna be lighting right. fire. Get your bitch ass the fuck out of my face. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's going yeah. beers terrible. at them motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah that's going to be I mean, terrible. Yeah, do your thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what you do. And they are dancers. They're not uh, uh, the stunt guys, like they were saying. How there's other cheer- there's other guys that help the cheerleaders do those difficult, you know, throw, throw them in the air kind of stunts. It's, it's the end of the world, man. It's the end of the world. You're supposed to act like that's cool to have men in some shorts. Are they about to be dressed like No, dogs? they're not going to dress oh. the same as the girls. They're going to have, uh, like, whatever. So they ain't going to wear skirts? No, no. They're going to wear. So who are they cheering for? What do you mean? Like, you got men cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. Who are they cheering for? Why are they there? They're helping to cheer on the team that they're cheerleading for, the Rams. And then the other one is the Saints. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I Can you just imagine if there was like in high school, like guy cheerleaders, what would happen to them? Well, yeah. They would have to transfer schools because reality is going to kick in. Right. Well, we had we had dudes on the cheer squad. Where? Every college. Basically, they'd be the dudes throwing the That's cheer That's what I'm saying. They were already there. Shit. Those were already oh, existing. Those ain't gay. Yeah, but th- we knew. Those we were the had, stunt yeah, guys, right. Those <laughs> the homie Depot. I think it was definitely, uh, he was definitely gay. Oh, is that right? Hmm. Yeah. You saying in high school? No, you saying in college. I'm talking about the college. We were clowning one day. And we was like, look at this nigga. He ain't blah, blah, blah. He was like, come to practice then. Uh oh. Bitches are heavy, nigga. That's all I can say. <laughs> we tried it. We was like, oh, nigga, yeah. whatever you are, whatever you're in here doing, you're yeah. working hard. We I will leave admit. Alone. Nobody looks at the guys who's helping the girls with the stunts and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Right. And in a way that right. it's a problem. But when you got men with little skirts or oh, little shorts nah, on yeah, or whatever the fuck they pull. That's what they had in uh, that football movie. That was the first place I saw that shit with uh, The oh, Longest the Yard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it was it, meant to be funny. Was that right. Tracy Morgan? Yeah. yeah it was, well, if they're smart, they Morgan won't. John it, it was meant to be funny. They expect you to sit there and act like this is normal. And if you say something, you you evil. You a hater. Right. It did, did I'm going to say something. It did not but specify if, if what bad, they were going to be wearing. So if I don't they know. want dudes to be on cheerleading squads, then the gay dudes should have been drafted to some team. He didn't try out. These guys the whole out. reason he, that they he, got cheerleaders. Just, just in the mouth on the NFL draft, and they, just, they swept the, all that shit out under the rug. It's not no. that they wanted. They were able to But the whole reason they out. got cheerleaders in the first place was so we could make the women feel involved. Yeah. So if you weren't a good enough male athlete to get to the league, you don't deserve to be on the sideline cheering. That's for the bitches. I thought it was just to add no, more, they extra, they more entertainment the gay, for the, the men. They want the gay but, audience but, uh, to tune in to watch football. Also to include I, women. I, I think that gay male cheerleaders are entertaining, but don't get mad when we react to the entertainment. Mm. They got and then to everybody be. can be drunk. These are football games. I'd rather you know? see some. Throw yeah. that motherfucker in the air. All that air gonna come out his ass. Ha 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 uh, it's only that nigga kick high. Every team gonna have to get a couple niggas on the cheer squad if they kicking like that. No, he is. He's what a dancer. Is that? The female cheerleaders should have something to say about this. <coughs> they didn't mind. Why are you all stepping into a bitch's lane? This is a bitch's lane. They bitches. Because then at the same time, but you they, ain't supposed to call them bitches. Right. Right. Not only no, that, they, they don't have to they change a lot of this. Try out for football as well. It's that kind of lane now. They got to say one what? You know what I'm saying? Be prepared because it's that kind of lane now. When he said that they're not going to argue. You say women try out for football. No, I'm saying. Because that eventually that's where they're going to go. They're going to be like, well, we can't, we don't want to argue and not have him on our squad because there are we promote. I'm saying those kind of games. I mean, we promote that women that want to do whatever they want to do. You feel what I'm saying? Like right. we want to try out for the team. Well, go ahead. You want to get your head bashed this in? Is I don't like. It's all imaginary look, shit. This ain't nothing against gay motherfuckers. My problem is with these dudes who happen to be gay stepping into a woman's lane. Okay, if a woman is good enough to play in the NFL, then I say I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against it. But the but why are you stepping into these females' lanes? You know what I'm saying? That's foul. You no, the, we got bitches for this already. I don't care my, if it's gay male cheerleaders. Don't get mad when I gag on them. That's right. all I'm saying. Let me have my genuine thoughts about these people. Right. It ain't no. I'm tired of. My I don't like football to be anyway. Fair, so man. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't watch that. I don't watch. I don't like football. Yeah, don't Who's that guy that ninety nine dollars? Woo! Oh yo! Oh my gosh! What's Shout his name again? Because I was in motherfucking. Uh, we don't know the name, Frank. I was in Raleigh, North Carolina okay. this week, and I think one of the dudes who gave ninety nine dollars came up to me, and he was like, "I gave that ninety nine. Oh uh, yeah. Patrick Angley. 
Where are you from? Florida? Patrick Angley, if you're watching, where are you from? Nigga said man, if I knew that, I'd have, I'd have tried to go, man. My sister. Thank you for that. Wow. Raleigh was off the chain. Boy, what I you do? Mad good love for Charlie. Good night. Y'all yeah. sold that motherfucker out, Nick. Yeah, Raleigh sister, fuck sister, with me. It's a lot of 5150 there. people with Raleigh. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Raleigh motherfucker was off the motherfucking chain. North Carolina, Carolina just be Gag popping in general. Man. man, that's the new uh, motherfucker. Somebody say Corey Gag on gay male cheerleaders. Pause. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> they said I got the uniform on. Double fuck you, ho ass nigga. <laughs> but what goes in the pocket? Oh, you got the <laughs> <laughs> what's yeah. in the pocket, man? I got it's, titty it's, in this he's pocket. Gotta nigga. Put his lip gloss somewhere. <laughs> it's lube, nigga. He said you got lip gloss nah, in the pocket. Fuck this. Nah. <laughs> anyway. This is nah. We're gonna take a break, goddammit, because D threw with our segment. And we shall return after everybody piss. Right. Fifty one fifty, nigga.
I can't read that from I'm saving the Michael Jackson shit for the bridge. It was a cold black night. In the LBC. Hit that motherfucking And I went bitch, to see Frank. it, bitch. Fuck it, we coming right That's on some Nate dog shit. And then we was with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Woo! I just want to make sure the shit long. is level. It was a cold black night. In the LBC. And I went to see it, bitch. That was jocking me. Bitch was jocking me. What's happening, ho? Hey. What's happening, ho? What's up? What's happening, ho? I hey. say, what's happening, ho? What's up? That's what's how happening, you step ho? to a bitch when you on the West Coast. You say, what's happening, ho? It's bitch, I walk up with my chucks tight, trying to figure out what's popping with us tonight. Like, put your number in it. We can get it. Popeye eats spinach. Let me get it. Let me hit it. Let me get that booty, bitch. Let me fuck. I'm a real ass nigga, and we up in the club. We don't got to leave, bitch. We can hit the bathroom. Just put your foot up. I'm going to do what I do. It was uh, a cold black night. In the LBC. And I went to find a bitch. That was jogging me. Was cold happening? black night in the LBC. I What's found me a home? bitch that was jocking me. That's she home. said, Show me yo wee wee. I said, Fuck you, bitch. My name is Corey. So I took her in my car and I let the seats back. Boom. Everybody knows she was starting to hack. I said, Bitch, this we gon' do. I'ma pay you and you gon' go on fool. Yeah. It was a cold black night in the LBC. And I went to see a bitch. That was jocking me. Like what's happening, ho? What's happening, ho? Hey. I said what's happening, ho? bitch. What's happening, ho? What's happening, ho? Hey. Say what's happening, ho? What's happening, ho? 
Yo. Better open up that door, cause here I come, ho. I need some pussy and some chains before I go. Put them kids to sleep, I ain't playing with you, I'm a creep. And I'm offbeat like a motherfucker falling asleep. After being drunk, uh -huh. I ain't no punk. I'ma fuck that pussy to the room, smell like skunk. Oh. Then I'ma beat you up. Oh. Cause I like hitting bitches. Domestic violence is Cold my shit. Night in the LBC. The LBC. With some real ass shot down G's. We gon' drop you off after we go eat. Fuck another bitch in the neighborhood you see. I wanna beat your ass, bitch. Kick, punch, choke. That's he I saw beat like your ass, bitch. I heard Kick, it and punch, I know. choke. <laughs> I wanna beat your ass. Dang, Esau, nigga, I live this shit. Nigga, Esau ain't never beat up no bitch. Cause I always feel like this could be the night that pussy is tight. Put that pussy on me. Shit on my face, ain't no disgrace. We in your place. Your kids got laced weed in the other room. Now they sleep. They future doom. I don't give a fuck what you say. Bitch, I ain't here to motherfucking play. All the kids asleep, ain't no witness to the act. That's why your ass about to get smacked. Uh. Why your room smell like a nigga just left? Why? Bitch, why is always dick on your breath? Uh, Cause yeah. I always feel like this could be the night. That pussy is tight. Put that pussy on me. One more time, say it. Put the pussy on me. Put the pussy on me. Pussy on me, Damn, bitch. bitch. You ain't chew no gum yet. I bought you the fucking son a drum set. <laughs> bought him a <laughs> drum set. What rhymes with noise. drum set? For two minutes. Ain't got no <laughs> but what rhymes with drum set? Gum yet. Baguette. <laughs> and the motherfucking kazoo. What you gonna do? Bitch, I'm living the dream. Fucking on you. And a saxophone and a clarinet. Ain't that pussy wet? Watch me step. Uh -oh. All the fish in your tank, they dead. Maybe cause they all were scared. Cause and your motherfucking kitchen bled. Smoke out the motherfucker. I'm dread. Yeah, these same. He go to work. Y'all niggas all are wet. <laughs> <laughs> Whack in the motherfucker. We're not wacker than iced tea. She said oh, niggas. Oh, please, you wish, please. D said I niggas. I picked a damn good daddy, baby daddy. D said niggas out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I got poetic licensing here. Is that what you got? The guy D glasses, nigga. they made for reading. reading. The other ones, they made for skeeting. And the pussy made for bleeding. And the no dog more. made for leaving. And Have you ate a bitch ass in front of her kids? That's some 100 ass nigga shit. That's some fucked up shit to hit a bitch in front of her child. Eat the bad motherfucking ass. That's wild. I stand outside smoking a black and mild. Cause I always feel like some this could be the night. That pussy is tight. Somebody put that pussy on me. Put the pussy on me. Where the dog I bought you? Oh. That's what's happening, That's a Corey what's ass happening, ho? What's happening, ho? I say, what's happening, ho? Hi. What's happening, ho? Yes. I say, what's happening, ho? Bitch! Oh, you want to act crazy because your bruises been healed. All right. <laughs> 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 you stupid, pal. <laughs> we ain't going to stop that one. <laughs> bruises healed. Bruises healed. Bitch, I beat you with your own motherfucking heels. Shit. Because I'm on a the savage. Freestyle. On the side of the game. Game. I'm trying to get jail time on your brain, bitch. I'm trying to knock you to your motherfucker. I bought you a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. Bitch, that means I'm here to fuck. Fuck. Donuts, fuck it. I'm ducking. All the motherfucking authorities when I'm nothing. Stop ducking when I flinch, bitch. Get tougher. Because this relationship about to get rougher. <laughs> <laughs> Stop moving your legs trying to brace for this. <laughs> trying to brace for this. <laughs> Bitch, ain't no escape from this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bitch. The uh. shit is getting whack as hell. I have to say it twice. Uh. Dog walk records. I'm a practice UFC on your head. Bitch, watch when I put you to sleep and in the bed. I ain't been fed. I'm a sick ass nigga and I like wearing red. Genevieve ain't been to the show. She don't give a fuck about us no more. Frank and Cockblock when they got home. 
he ain't sitting on the throne I broke your nose three times last month And now you don't wanna pass a nigga the blunt You a scandalous hoe and you stingy as shit And when I'm finished with this blunt, I'ma kick your wig off Now here's the motherfucker straight up 100 deal Urban Meyer lost his job for keeping it real Okay Keeping it real mm. Okay Keeping it real All them white people still pay niggas to play And they wanna act like it ain't done that way I'm so tired of these double standard ass assholes mm. Stuttering like a motherfucker But you get exposed Duh Alright That's it <laughs> Whacked in the motherfucker <laughs> Alright Donald yeah. Trump ain't white records mm. Donald Dude. Trump ain't white he ain't records white. Oh he's human <laughs> Scandalous ass human <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Craig is water. awful. Oh Nigga, I'm that? fucking around up here, you stupid Somebody motherfucker. Said Craig ignorant. <laughs> Who said I am ignorant though? I am ignorant. I can't even see the shit. Nigga bad. said Craig awful. Go buy the album. I re-released the album. Rest Nigga, in I, peace, Nate Dog. Man, we was trying to make it sound real. Records. LBC. Up. Craig is on Beat Why Down respect, Records. Much respect to Nate Dog. I, I met him at Wildin' Out. He was cool people. I met the nigga at the gym. Oh yeah. Yeah, my boy put his mixtape on his chest while he was doing the bench press. Ain't that fucked oh up? Oh, my yeah. God. Niggas be sending so much music at you. Do you yeah. think people can watch and listen to all of the music? I mean, like, niggas, like, uh, on the real, I get about. I get about. <laughs> that nigga said you music. got on the Cable Guy shirt. <laughs> yeah, I get about 15 music requests a day. Corey, the Cable Guy. This is who made this shirt? <laughs> Harley <laughs> Davidson? No, <Nah>, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's Somebody a expensive. We're gonna Jinko hear about it. Biker, uh, Who made it? He don't even know. Some overpriced. He can't read upside yeah. down. Yeah, I bought it. At, I, I, this shirt cost some paper. That's an AC Green shirt. <laughs> See, I still got the tag. I feel it on my back. Wait, the price tag? Green shirt. <gasps> he does. What this shirt do? He Who make it? The fuck back. Oh, Affliction in Orange <laughs> County. Oh, that's a UFC shirt. It's right. a lot. Where'd it go? It's a lot. What? 78. Oh, yeah, nigga. $78? I don't know why I still got the tag on it. I felt it. I forgot yeah. the tag. You can't return on. it. It's all sweat out. That's okay. That's I ain't a, trying to return it. I know. I'm trying to wear it to a motherfucking crib tonight. That's it. Yo, bitch, crib, chilling out. Yeah. Yo, bitch, crib, chilling out. Chillin I'm at your bitch crib, chilling out. A dope ass Can song. I give a quick shout out before we get going? I know we're trying to end shout it and out everything. Who you gonna shout out to? Oh no, you'll love it. Uh, remember, I told you that we had a, a fan in um, Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, he yeah. orders a lot. His name is Armando Ubisi. So he finally sent us a picture. He and his girl rocking the uh, the sweatshirts. So we want to say thank you. Um, he orders a lot. What a picture! I, mean, I gave it to Frank. Um, and also, we played it during the break with everybody else from your shows this that? weekend. He, 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 he's, pu- he's pulling it up right now. There they go. Is oh, we them? can barely see them, though. We can't. It's cut off. But, okay. yeah, that's them. See, that's them right there. Ain't that, man, look, man, I, we got to do something for them. I love them for that. If you if he's sending for our ship South. from safe Cape Town, South Africa, yeah. you know they be robbing motherfuckers with the shipping. Yeah, he, wa- he watches the show. <laughs> What's his name? Armando. Armando. Thank you for your patronage. Armando is South Africa. You and your lady. And, and he's Michael a Blackson in the picture. And he's a Java developer, so he's pretty he's, he's got he a do? good job out there. What a Java he do? developer. What happened to the dude Internet. who we supposed to be you supposed to be hooking me up with the motherfucker who, who trained motherfucker? Oh, you were supposed to go last Thursday, but we kept saying wait, 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 and then you were like, What's oh, his name? Oh, uh, Ty. Ty, his name's I'm gonna Ty. get at you, man. I'm I wanna we, you should come with you me. Should come. You, you guys should go, like, yeah. In it's, in Be- it's in Beverly Hills, like on Pico and I think oh, Doheny. Black Nate, belt. Nate look like he'll beat a motherfucker ass, but Let's he'll get Thursday. tired and be like, "Gone, nigga, you lucky I'm tired." <laughs> Let's do it Thursday. Okay. Hey. Have a stroke after. You still gonna? You gonna be hey, here, right? You should. Go. You should. Ty. If he's watching, he yeah. He said, "Ty, we gonna come through and fuck with you." Yeah. There you go. You gonna teach us how to fight, Ty? <laughs> Let's see. It's all boxing and shit. What is it? It's uh no, I, I don't. I'm gonna be it's a like lot old, of stuff. It's grappling. I'm gonna be like old boy on Action Jackson. Remember on Action Jackson? Once he learned how to fight, he beat up the Chinese trainers. Oh. Like, ah. <laughs> they got serious. I'm gonna be like, ah, ah. don't teach me too good, Ty. I'll be like, shut your puss ass up, Ty. <laughs> uh, Corey's, not, Corey's gonna stop shit. choking people out, huh? You're really gonna hit somebody? No, if he know how to fight, he ain't gonna let me get to him. I gotta learn how to fight. Mm-hmm. 
Niggas be hating sometimes, man. Sometimes they be hating. What they say? Who That's him right there. Fella? That's him right That's there. That's Ty? Yeah, oh, shit. He light skinned too? He's, he's from Chicago. Oh. Yeah, he's from your Mac of the Woods, remember? Right. What's up, Shot Town Ty? You got to teach yeah. me the game. Who is that motherfucker you Let next to, goddammit? That Antonio Banderas looking ass motherfucker you next to. Mm -hmm. I want to learn how to uh, choke a nigga with his own shirt. <laughs> you can choke a nigga with that shirt. He ain't gonna be able to pull it through. <laughs> Stop, but I can't. Yeah, damn it. Once can't. you get that shirt uh, around the neck, goddamn it. You ever seen Hoist Gracie do that shit? Who? Hoist Gracie. You be Hoist knowing Gracie some weird Hoist names. Gracie. That's the Hoist nigga. Gracie. That's like one of the main the legend, families. The, the Gracies, Gracie the whole family. I know right. was a Hoist, oh, you talking about Hoist Gracie? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck that is, that nigga, nigga. A beast, nigga. All the Gracies, yeah. He used to choke them niggas out in the early UFC with their own shirts, nigga. He really? At 185 yeah. pounds, he'll choke a nigga mm -hmm. 350. Somebody but, say Corey's shirt choking his arm. <laughs> Yeah, with his stuff. Right, you on. can't get that top button up. I know that much. I can't. He's a motherfucking. I gotta get back in. I gotta get back in the gym. Cause see, I wanted to wear this motherfucking Fuck other shirt, that. but it put don't the look top right. Button on. All right, I'm gonna put it on. Just to show you. You want him to stop breathing? Who yeah. gonna give him CPR? <laughs> you get your cricket throat ass out of here. <laughs> I'm the only one certified in here. Am I? Up, yeah, I think so. You oh, he looked like, look like Tyrese and a, like a baby boy. Yeah. He baby Why boy. Why you wanna act like? <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, he's so crying. <laughs> oh, Nate, he's a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and hapkido karate. <laughs> 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 That's what that button said. <laughs> and he was raised on the south side of Chicago, low end. Graduated from Dunbar. Oh, that motherfucker from my neck of the woods. Yeah, real. I'm a fuck with you, Tom. Yeah. I'm trying to learn the game. I want to be able to motherfucker tell a motherfucker, hey man, get your puss ass back. Hey, what yeah. the say something out. What the button say? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm not some clueless ass person teaching people to do something that, that'll get them killed in the street. I've trained all, uh, MMA fighters, high end professional clients. We want to have Ty on the show. Come he on should. Show. He should come on the show. He's busy, though. I know that. Ty, when you can get loose, man, come on the show and talk to the people because I'm going to fuck with you on the train me side of the game. Yeah. He reached I out. I probably need about said, six months of uh, 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 oh, knowing yeah. how to hurt a motherfucker because I just want to be able to fuck up the average nigga. I ain't about to compete yeah. with that shit because no. I saw that motherfucker. What's his name? What's the actor name? Is it Jahai White? Yeah. Oh, Jai ja 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 White. Yeah, Jai White. White. Jai White. Actor. Boy, I saw that Ooh, motherfucker doing some ninja. kicks yeah. and shit. I was like, what My the God. fuck? Yeah, yeah, this nigga ain't got no cartilage between his set. <laughs> no. Can't no nigga that old kick that high. No, he's very he's flexible. He's been man. doing it, yeah. I see. Yeah, he built he actually did some fight that they do to rank the fighters in the world. The nigga was like second. They ripped him off, he said. Yeah. Yeah, he a real mm. I believe you. He ain't playing. They always rip off the motherfucking brother. But he a cool brother, too. Yeah, he down Have you ever there. seen him? Yeah, I met him once or twice. Wow. Wow. He always calm in the streets. Super He's like, hello. Yeah. Well, that's what that'll do right. to you, too, though, Corey. You know that, right? A lot of that training. Just because you can learn all that physical stuff, but it also very zen. Is that a fact? That plus yeah. when you know you What about the nigga Bruce Lee was fighting on, uh, where well, they went over, t over to that tournament? He was like, yeah, you're on a fight. Yeah, well, he was. He was uh, like, get on the boat. <laughs> but look how right, cool right. Bruce was, see, <laughs> until it came time for it. <laughs> when, you, when you know you can whip everybody in a place. You can't yeah. real calm. Mm -hmm. You can't whoop me, yeah. nigga. I don't give a fuck. Uh oh, he dog walking. You too stiff, man. I seen you. Beat the shit One thing out about Craig, Bruce Lee. Craig be on his motherfucking reps, but he's stiff as fuck. You can I, see when he play basketball, wait, he run wait, like wait. this. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, I can't. Wait, I can't nigga, did you just say you whoop the uh, shit out of Bruce nigga's Lee? Nigga's one hundred and thirty oh. pounds, man. Oh. Bruce Lee is one hundred and thirty pounds. You talking about him in death? I know like, a nigga little than that, and you can't whoop him. Don't judge them motherfuckers. Not nobody like, up under 130. He's saying anybody under 130. I know some little niggas with hand. My dad's a little nigga with hand. Craig be doing. It's oh, how you know it's your dad, dad. How your dad little? <laughs> my dad five seven. Craig is on that Pretty spitty from Detroit City. He's a killer, man. I wouldn't fight that nigga for nothing. But he got hand. You said half of him is asleep. Yeah, nigga had a stroke, but I still, I'm still. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Hey, hey, yeah. shit. He be remembering that bullshit. Yeah, nigga, Nate, I fight a nigga with Nate, only half my body. Sometimes we all go get something to eat after this. Y'all hungry? Yeah, yeah I'm with it. You know what Nate about you? Home. Did you hungry? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I've been meal prepping all day, nigga. Let's go get for some real? food. Food. Nice. I want some good shit. But can you put on a shirt? Cause they ah, gonna serve us. Fuck yeah, they ain't gonna. Nigga. You got a shirt in the car. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't got a shirt, in, if you don't got a shirt in the car, we about to get you a t-shirt. Uh, you can nigga. give them the new uh, second edition of Kiss by the Sun. Look at his shirt. Like, oh, we got them over there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize that, motherfucker. We got the Kiss by the Sun shirts, D. 
Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's from Mexican pride. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pinchy that's bulldog. That black pride. Is that uh, she in forgot the back, it's got the red. Uh, Shouldn't fist. one of them be yellow? Yeah. You didn't yellow. say that. I sent you the thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did Here we go. That's Here we go. Mexican pride. <sighs> You got that Kiss White by the Sun shirt? shirt? Is something on the back of it, D? The Red Fist, yes. The Red Fist. What did it say? 5150? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Y'all go and get them Kiss by the Motherfucker. Get the main chick joint. Kiss by the Sun. At hey, man, I wore that side chick shirt. Hold up. Side chicks matters? It's man, been a long let me time. Tell you, I was yeah. the star of this motherfucking FedEx. Yeah. Them ladies was laughing so hard at that shirt. It broke the ice. That, yeah. that shirt, side chick matters. If you're looking to break the ice... Wear that shirt. I'm going to make some more of them. I'm making some more of them. I thought I was through well, with Well, that one making... and the practice safe sex because pregnant girlfriends destroy marriages. That's a, that. Every time I wear that because I have them all cut up. And also, just for your information, girls, if there's men's shirts, a 2X, 3X, you can actually make it into a dress if you pull the neck down over your breasts and you invert the arms and you sew the inside from the back of the arms it becomes pockets because it's way down here it's a cute sundress really? i'm gonna show you right away because i made a couple of them for myself but you can make a 2x 3x into a women's sundress with pockets super cute you gotta do a um a walkthrough video i am i'm gonna show them but i'm gonna wear some of mine okay. i took some of the old shirts that you didn't want oh my god we'll they're take so your cute. word for it dude. oh my god they're so cute hey so <laughs> we gonna wrap this feet? shit up <laughs> your you whole legs your yeah shit? who me yeah you always show oh. your feet they got on some motherfucking. Oh, nice. What's the name of them shoes? Yeah. Chancletas, Harachis. nigga. She got some chancletas. No, not chancletas. <laughs> Harajis. Get your foot down, nigga. You gonna say where everything, where we at and shit? Yeah, please do. Go ahead. You Go. start it off. Go. Oh, all right. Instagram, Mr. Nate Jackson, and NateJacksonComedy.com. Uh, I just added some some new dates. I'm gonna do uh, uh, in Philadelphia. I'm gonna do two raise room on the 22nd. Warm Daddies. Oh, um, what? Where's that? 22nd of this month. Right, because uh, I have I have a college gig on the twentieth in uh, Penn Penn State University nice. Berks campus, and then the College of Coastal Georgia. So I'm gonna do two rays on the twenty second at, at Warm Daddy's. If you're in Philly, you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm trying to see about a weekend in Jacksonville, the twenty fifth, twenty sixth. So you ain't booked that. You just I put your hope in the out universe there. Right there. But right. you can catch me at you can catch me at uh them three I just said, and then mm-hmm. I'll I'll be announcing Jacksonville soon. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Craig, where you going to buy some more of them tank tops at? No. <laughs> What's in the pocket? <laughs> What's in the- First of all, go buy my album. I just released, re-released the LP I did back in 2008. Oh, nice. You know what I'm saying? The Cigar Club. Because he got five albums. Yeah, most definitely, nigga. Yeah. They rapping? Yeah. Niggas didn't know yeah, that. Nigga. Craig got a legit bar. We be fucking around in here, but he really yeah, raps. Nigga. Yeah, nigga. So I want to I wanna make a song one day where we really prepare it so motherfuckers can see. Because see, let me tell you something, man. We you mean you mean we had Twister that time you had him mm-hmm. on here. Yeah, he called in. Man, Twister did this song on motherfucking uh, I don't know who album it is. It's called Monsters, something like that. Look it up on YouTube. Man, look this motherfucker verse was so raw, they turned his verse to the hook. Oh, <laughs> wow. like, okay. God, really? This raw. motherfucker, look when he did, they had a, they had a they had a hook at first. But it wasn't it wasn't the shit. Mm-hmm. When he rapped, mm. they turned his verse to the hook. Wow. Well, that's dope. And they, they had some good rappers on there too. They right. had a nigga from Chicago well, named just kept um, going back to him. Huh? Yeah. They just kept going back to him for the hook. Oh man, his 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 verse became the hook. But the name of the song, they be like monsters. I'm telling you it's oh, raw. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, speed yeah. not monsters. Speed yeah. No, monsters. you get this some new speed, shit. Not mobsters. That's the speed not mobsters. Mobsters, yeah. They got a song with Twister on there. Uh, the hook is monsters. Yeah. Man, part- twist the verse so raw on this song, dog. Mm. They just was like, keep playing that part. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. That verse on Pope Pimp is one of the hardest Ooh. verses in the history of rap. They got another rapper on there from Chicago. He raw too. I can't believe I'm motherfucking forgetting these motherfuckers' names because it's disrespectful for me to forget these guys' names because it's a song that every time I play it, everybody be like, what's that? It's a song called 606 God. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, while you're looking for that, I want to give a shout out to Ted and I want Bump to show you- Who? Bump J. Bump J. Look up Bump J song six oh six God. Talking about that. Oh, don't play the rest of it though. I won't, but that's okay. it. It's got uh, Bump J G count. Watch the video. Mm-hmm. It's cold. Okay. So I put that out there because I mean, like you know, if you're not part of this Hollywood shit, everybody don't know about your music, but it, right. you know, it's right. a lot of, it's a lot of artists that are, like, it ain't no goat to me. 
No, nah, the reason possible. I say it's not a goat because you don't know who out here. You just see what they allow you to see. Right. Man, that nigga Twister is one of the Ooh, coldest lyricists I ever well, seen I in my yeah. life. Uh-huh. I remember when Twister used to rap slow. You remember when he diss tracks? I don't even no, remember. He used to rap slow. Yeah, I remember when. It was, yeah, but anyway, shout out to the legend. But Twister, yeah, my, uh, no, we got all kind of people. Smart. Look, we got all yeah. kind of people on the line just waiting to come in. What you mean? That's for my boy uh, Ted. And look, he just said we what definitely go, we go definitely want to come on the club, show. Though. They gotta wait for who these is Ted? Clubs. Ted is Sugar Free's um, manager. Man, so I fucking love he's Sugar Free. He's coming in. Look, they want to come in after the promo. Yeah. He said after these what? promo dates, he they want to come man, in. I have it. Man, all he needs is a pencil and a quarter. That he they got can some flavor. He hey man, that motherfucker Sugar Free got this song. I want everybody to just. Find this song. Uh, I forgot what album it's on, but it's. Uh, I think the hook is called "This Is Pimping." Okay. Ain't got time Smell to be playing the game. Mm. Some shit you already know my name. Mm. This mm. is pimping. Sugar free. Oh. They said sugar free. What you know about cars? I said you fill them up with hoes and take them to the stroll so they can get that money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I tell you a flea could pull a tree, you better get a chain and hook his low ass up. That mm-hmm. nigga's sugar no, free. I talked to him. Put him on the phone. <laughs> yeah, you want to come out of a bitch? Yes, Why sir. You <laughs> Do you know sugar free? I spoke to him, yeah, and then Ted just emailed me back. They both called on the line and said they want to come on the show. He's doing these promo dates right Sugar now. Sugar Free and DJ Quick are the first. The name of the album is Just Add Water. Just Add the Water. The song yeah. next to the last one. I want everybody who ain't doing shit, just go look that shit up on, on, online. Just Add Water. That's the name of Sugar mm. Free album. Next to the last song. That shit cold. I, well, the song after that cold, too. I like songs. The first time you hear it, you be like, "Ah, right, right, there it right, is." Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm, I'm, f- I, I, I don't know all the. Well, rappers, maybe we'll have him call in before they finish the promo tour, even, and at least get him, and then he'll come in. That's what's up, Sugar Free. Yeah. You know, we got man. Which love one you talking you, about, Corey? Because that shit got 25 songs on it. Next to the last song. Okay, because that. I won't. It's called Boyfriend. Pimping. Pimping. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you going to be, hey, this, this is good listening. You'll be like, oh, okay, Corey put me up on this. Uh-huh. Also, Bump J606, God, listen That's to that right. shit. And uh, uh, that song, three, that song, Monsters, with all them on there. That shit cold. Even though it's mo cold shit. I, I was listening to Those stand old out, school right. Chicago shit. This mm-hmm. psychodrama, Universal uh-huh. Session. I'm just putting names out there off old shit I know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. All you young brothers who send me your shit, man, I just want you to know, man, I be overwhelmed with it. So I ain't never acting funny with you. Maybe it might be a way where I could see it one day, but I can't. I can't listen to fifteen, twenty songs a day. Right. No, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you know what okay. I mean? So hey, it's can love. Can you say something? What's up with Chicago? Is everything all right? What's going on over there? Right what now? did you hear? Well, I spoke to your mom yesterday. So I spoke to his, your mom. Yesterday. What? What happened? I don't know. Some shootouts. Some shootings. I don't know. You got to say it. Oh, I don't know. I'm asking you. Then you got to start getting the information. No, but that did you just hear what I said? I said, I'm asking you. I said, what's up with Chicago? You said you spoke to my mom. She told you about some gunning down right, shit, right? Right, but she didn't have the information. She just said, oh, she God, didn't have pray it. You for don't Chicago. Have it. No, she said, <laughs> do you hear what I just said? I said, I, I'm asking you she what is up with Chicago. Because no, because you're wording no it wrong. Didn't I just say, what is up with Chicago? I spoke to your mom and your mom Chicago said, Chicago wild and the Chicago. motherfucker. It's a fatherless city. Okay, there you go. She didn't give me details. She just said, pray for Chicago. I was like, oh, okay. I said, I heard about something about shooting and stuff, but I didn't get the details from her. God damn it. Exactly. I know how to fix this shit. How you gonna fix it? God damn it. You gonna call her? You gonna call her? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what happened was... I said, D's wearing a wire asking that <laughs> question. <laughs> You need to wear a wire. It's out there. We on a live. Wow. That's what's in the pocket. Oh, that's what's in Craig's pocket. <laughs> what? The wire. I know she's asleep. What time is it in Chicago? Late out there. Oh, look. shit. No, it's almost 1. <gasps> 10, 11, 12, 12, 48. That's what you get. Uh-huh. She going to call me back. I'll give her money. You know what? <laughs> what a paper. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> All right, so we finna wrap this shit up. All you motherfuckers out there who stayed up and watched the show, we, we appreciate you. I'm glad we was here with the crew. And uh, shit, next week, goddammit, DB. Oh, mama calling me back. Hold See? on. See? Uh-huh. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey. What, you weren't asleep? No, I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't go 
fall asleep tonight. Yeah. You, what you got, oh, male company over there? You know what? No, ain't nobody here <laughs> but me. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene said you told us something about they were shooting in Chicago. Well, they always shooting in Chicago. <laughs> 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 I got you on the 5150 show, Mama. Hey, Arlene. Huh? You on the 5150 show. I got the phone on speaker. <gasps> Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you off here before I get in trouble. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you still coming to it's town? Me. You still coming to town around the twentieth, Mama? Of course, I'm coming. Okay. Yo, your brother might come. Mama don't leave me. <laughs> and I don't ever want to see him because he always working. Yeah, he work a lot of hours, goddamn. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I ain't for something crazy happened, Mom. I'm finna get off this phone. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. God bless you. Oh, okay, I, I love you. Oh. Yeah, Darlene, I love her too. Oh, okay, sweet. Darlene, oh. you heard that? Look at this. <laughs> All right. I'm a holler. All right. Oh. That my woman. mother knows Darlene well because, oh. like, when I when my mother my mother had an aneurysm, oh, really? and I thought I was gonna lose her, and I had to come out here, and uh, you know I travel a lot. Yeah, you moved around here. Yeah, She's I moved out here. Home. Yeah, she the summer she went back to Chicago, and uh, D was helping me out a lot. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie, I, I ain't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> I saying? love older people. Period. Like yeah. I just love. She had her with it. Pearl. I would be hanging out with Pearl. Like, come on, I'm about to pick all up. It's, oh, I just have such a good time with older people. Darlene put me on to the lady who makes the food, yep. Annalisa. Yep, Annalisa. Annalisa made the food that wasn't um. She does high the healthy salt food, and yeah. sodium, yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was it was a way I could nurse my mom back on her feet. Yeah. Right. Because right. at first, she when she got to the house, she couldn't even walk up the stairs. Oh wow! So Thank I said God. that on air. Thank yeah. God! Thank God! You all better. Thank you, and D, thank you for helping me out. I would, he did. Look, give me five. Oh. Five. I don't got no friends in foot L.A. Five, oh, five. What you talking about? Yeah, when I, when I, no, but this was around the time when I first met y'all. Right, you right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or not first met y'all. Yeah, not First letting y'all come on the show. Yeah. Craig, you been to the crib? Exactly. And was a, definitely yeah. not no joke, Xavier. I'm an empty, I'm an right. empty motherfucker. I ain't, that, that, that boy Gerald died out here, broke my heart, oh, God yeah. damn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Gerald died. Rest that was, in peace. That Gerald. was the closest yeah, one to a friend. Yeah. I'm from Chicago. I ain't know nobody out here. And I yeah. had to hit the road. And um, <laughs> you know, my wife had shit going on in her family with her parents. It, it was real serious. So she had to go to Chicago. Because right. her father yeah. was Yeah. Motherfuckers don't know I was going through a time at one time when I was coming up here during the show. It's life. Life ain't easy at all. I you was don't have a fucked lot of family up. around you. Right. Yeah. I was yeah. fucked it was when up. Was like yeah. I seen demon in my room and shit mm -hmm. like that. I did. I saw weird shit, dog. I, I'm yeah. just the type of motherfucker. I, I self medicate through shit, yeah. which ain't always good. Right. Mm -hmm. It's what you mean, just by smoking weed. I ain't never, I ain't never do that. You I might do. need to, yeah. That uh, camaraderie yeah. helps you get through shit. It yeah. do camaraderie meaning like people who you look at ain't really out to get you, yeah. right? That's and, real. Uh, you know what I'm saying? As you, you, I, that's why I don't just have anybody around me. I'm the same Thank way. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. I fuck, with, I fuck with y'all though, man. I'm glad y'all start coming up here to the show and shit. Yeah, man. yeah man, good man. people, right? I, I, yeah, I like real good. Niggas. Yeah, all, all I've heard yeah. is nothing but good stuff from my people. Oh, following, good. like, oh my god, we love those guys. It's just oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank y'all. Yeah, yeah. So and then yeah. every day you get to be, you know, what I'm saying, learn from a motherfucking legendary comic. <laughs> up close, up close and personal. That shit feels so weird when you say that shit because I feel like, like I'm just what? another yeah. guy. <laughs> but all that, nigga. On real talk, you know what I'm saying? Niggas I fuck with, I I go out my way for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I be so. This nigga said I'm just another guy. Uh -huh. I feel like I'm just another guy, man. That's why I be out. That's not even just another shirt. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to wear this shirt next time I go out of town yeah. niggas are dope. Uh -huh. I was at the mall in Raleigh And this nigga was walking up to me You ain't got no bodyguard nigga and like that. Uh. I'm like no nigga what you going to do yeah. Yeah. Like, What you want to do yeah, nigga yeah. Right nigga I was in the guitar center God damn What the fuck this nigga about to start Jeez. playing guitars Right I was in that motherfucker 
They was like, get your black ass on. Look, he said, everybody call your moms if you can. That's for yeah, sure, that's though, real. man. Are you serious? Everybody call your real? mom. Your mom, you know, especially when you get older, your mom be happy to hear from you because I'm telling you, when you get older, you get lonely, especially if your significant other ain't with you. And thank yeah. God if you had a good mom. That's so very weird, fortunate, man, to see your parents getting older like that and needing you more. Yeah. You know, you see them more mortal because you just think your parents is just, you know. Man, mm. when I had my mother out here, my mother didn't even think she was going to walk again. I just yeah. was like, I got to get you. I know how to get you back on your mm -hmm. feet. Yeah. That, uh -huh. I, I mean, like, people give me information that helps me mm -hmm. with You're welcome, Jody shit Joe. that I don't know nothing about. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how important water was to your health. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Until yeah. I was around. That's what they uh, call it life. They yeah, say this dude life. who Bobby knew. Mm -hmm. Bobby, Crazy Bobby. Yeah. My man who used to be on the show. With all the water. We met him at Donna Jaw. Showed me about the water. I wearing a suit, right? The tuxedo. Yeah. I don't even remember. Yeah. No, no, no. That's Bobby. Yeah, that's Bobby. Bobby be wearing them suits and that's shit. That's the same so. person you're talking about, right? Yeah, Bobby turned me on to this dude named Donaja who told me how important water was to the body. That nigga um, sound like he know about water. Donaja? Donaja. Donaja, some shit like that, yeah. That's why he live for water. Is it? No, I don't no. know. <laughs> All I know is this nigga, this nigga Donaja, the first motherfucker, this motherfucker grow his plants in the back of his house. Right. And I saw this motherfucker pick the greens and shit out the dirt from the mm -hmm. back of his house. I was like, what the fuck is this? But then he cleaned do. that shit. Growing, a garden, nigga. And yeah. Yeah. Man, that was the best salad I ever had. But I ain't know about this shit, dog. I'm a yeah. project nigga. Yep. Yeah. I find out through trial and error. <laughs> not my yeah. read. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> not my read. Right. Start, once I get the money to buy uh, another crib one of these days, I'm going to have a garden like a motherfucker. When I had lost all that weight, um, somebody who was a vegetarian told me about how that meat pile up on you inside. Yeah. Um, Rita G. I mean, fuck. It ain't, it ain't Get no you some psyllium husk. Them people, a lot of people who Ooh, are vegetarians. Bad, yeah. um, that's a psyllium husk. Is like a, it's a what a psyllium husk. Yeah, but that'll, give you, husk that'll a, blow you up so bad, nah, though. Man, it's, it will. It'll blow you up. Take what it said. Take two scoops of psyllium husk with some water or juice and drink that shit and let it get in your intestines. And then it multiplies in water by like 15, 20 fold. And then when you shit it out, it's like a full ass doodle, but you've cleansed your intestines and mm -hmm. stuff. Get well, some of that meat and, and, and extra ex excrete up. I said Compton Garden on Black Jesus. But no, that's some shit. A lot of motherfuckers ain't up on this shit. You'll be surprised, man, how many people, especially yeah, in Chicago, goes. where I'm from. Man, motherfuckers don't nothing it. about don't nothing about no motherfucking health. Right. Motherfuckers be like, man, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna just eat gyros this week. <laughs> yeah, they've never had you chicken. You had saying? your own eggs. Right? They don't know nothing about yeah. no health, man. I'm telling you, yeah. man. I know motherfuckers be dying of heart attacks in their forties, be diabetics, everything in their forties. Wow. Like I'm talking about young niggas yeah. who been obese their whole life and they can't shake it, but they don't know how. They don't even know where to begin. Right. So I'm glad motherfuckers taught me a little bit about the game. I'm about to get back on my shit. And take another picture with my arms out in a yeah. little bit. You know you can come out with your own <laughs> brand of uh, supplements. The fifty one fifty supplements. Hell yeah, you can do that all day. Craig is a real entrepreneur. They need to have some real shit tough. in them though. A lot of these, a lot of these know. supplements are just a bottle with a label, yeah. big name or not. They oh got yeah, a, they got a ranking system that tells you which supplements actually have what they say that's in it because it's no, different but, qualities of shit. I haven't said this before, but I'm going to say it. Mm. I'm creating this thing called a booty call kit. Uh, it's something that you just have in the trunk of your car yeah. that's on deck all the time when you get them phone calls. For all oh, them yeah, hoes out there, yeah, right. all them that's whores, G male and female. The, I used to have this thing in high school called the Magic Burrito, nigga. I would take a hotel lunch and roll it up in the face. Face towel. I stayed ready to get jacked off. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't jacked off. Too, but uh, you were certain ages. All oh about yeah. the jack off, yeah. nigga. Like, I, no, but it's all about preparing to go to a girl house mm -hmm. and preparing when you leave her house. Magic if, yeah. if you don't have a sink or What's something like be that. In it? Yeah. Some Shit. wet wipes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have a big ass wet wipe like the size of that chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> the before wet wipe and the after wet yeah, wipe. Yeah, yeah. The after one gonna have that antibacterial to get her um the creamy uh, shit uh, up right, the top of your dick. Right, right. The ball. <laughs> said, not, no, it doesn't. I'll show you the write up what? that just came. It doesn't kill all that. The bacteria it doesn't kill that. What the kills hand it? Hand sanitizer. 
It fire. just doesn't. Just abstinence or just clean yourself. But it won't kill that bacteria that you're talking about. Did you about. hear what she said? For diseases? Abstinence is just, just clean yourself. No, but I'm just saying it's a joke. I'm being facetious when no, I said but that. I'm, but I'm, the invention, I'm, I'm using someone who knows how to create stuff that mm. cleans you as well as you can be clean oh, before bet. you get home. I make my own wet wipes. Right. Out of what, though? I take a dry ass uh, napkin and I run it in the water. And I At least it. you don't spit on it. Okay. Sometimes I put soap on it, depending on what I got access to. Just use some Patron. What I used to do it. is I always got a Ooh. bottle of water in my car. You know, it'd be hot out here. Yeah. So it's almost like warm water and shit. And I always got an extra towel. And depending on who I fuck, that's what I use to put on with the water. Right. Some girls I put hairspray on the water. Huh. Some bitches I put roach spray on the water. <laughs> Just can't let your girl suck your dick if you uh, use the roach spray. You poison it, bitch. Uh, that's funny. Damn. They get roach spray dick. <laughs> <laughs> that kill all that shit. Hell yeah, including the person. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have no hole in your sack. That roach spray get in your sack. Kill oh. your sperm. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. sperm be like, this sticker got <laughs> raided here. Your balls start jumping. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound, Dave? <laughs> I go, Nate. That nigga stupid with that. Fifty-one fifty is a tricky, cause it could be fifty-one fifty, or it could be a fifty then a one fifty. You know what I'm saying? It's true. You got to really watch when you ride. Five. Well, cause they already yeah. exist. There's a lot of other ones out there already. Really? So, yeah. yeah this so same. Same. Oh yeah. It could be fifty-one fifty, or it could be fifty-one. 50. Yeah, but 51. Is that what you just is, thought of? Or you saw it up there? I saw it up there. I was yeah, like, right. be you didn't want to get that nigga's credit. You just <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't write that. I just came up with, you know what I'm saying? 5150. You know what that is, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But right. You, never mind. Frank, what you doing online over there? You ain't looking for girls who motherfucking. He's over there. He's over there. He fell asleep. Tuesday nights are a bit slow for that. Oh, oh, see? Good one, Frank. Good one. Frank over there at the emergency room looking for. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta uh, check on Genevieve. Got her oh, Genevieve sister's cool. in town. She just flew uh, in from uh, London. So that's what he told chat, us. So. Oh, she's in the chat. So hi, Genevieve. Hi. Genevieve. Genevieve, Genevieve like a mug. I saw. Her. I Light. thought I saw. Say her. something. I Genevieve, saw. I saw Genevieve her. Genevieve, bring her sister up here because we scared her last time. <laughs> that's no. crazy. What? I remember she saw us. She was like, "These niggas are crazy." She was here for the Aries. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. She was yeah. here when Ari yeah. Spears so got his ass Spears, whooped. Man. Can you imagine? So was Brandy. Remember, we had hey, Ari Spears. What's been up, man? We ain't, you know, I ain't ran into you since that shit. You going around telling your lawyers that we set you up and shit, bitch, nigga. Oh, I heard you was at the motherfucking airport in a leather jacket and flip flops. <laughs> that's real shit, bitch, nigga. Y'all go back and tell him that. There I called him a bitch, Hi, nigga. Hi, Genevieve. There she is. Hey, Genevieve. <laughs> Genevieve at UE. Yeah. Yeah, bitch nigga, when okay. I see you, I'm just going to ask you about it. I ain't on shit with you. I know you a bitch ass nigga. You a coward nigga. Ain't nobody worried about you. Say you was going to get your goons Jean to come Leon. up here. We been looking for your goons. Bitch nigga. Anyway. After I find out you a bitch nigga, I lose all respect for you. Of I course, like, yeah. Oh, you mm -hmm. bitch ass nigga. You lied to the lawyers. Then what's up, man? You, why mm -hmm. you lie to your lawyers like that? You said you got, I have Jewish friends. Well, why you lie to your friends? Mm. That was the only motherfuckers had your back. Now they like fuck you. Think yeah, I ain't know? I only have your back if you, if you give them money. That's that was the is. Price is Right music. All right, we finna go eat, goddammit. I don't know where the fuck we going, goddammit, but we about to find somewhere in Monsters. Anyway, <laughs> I want to say to everybody who came out in Raleigh, I really appreciate that. That was that was big, goddammit. Uh, Nyack, New York is next. That's not this week. That's next week. Nyack, that's like 45 minutes outside New York. That big ass mall out there. Out there, goddammit. They, they got all kinds of ways to get there from New York. You come from Jersey, you can come from New York. Greg writing that shit out. I want to say to all of the women who are sitting around alone in this world looking for a man, um, Bitch, it ain't gonna happen for you. Anyway, we are 5150. <laughs> we about this motherfucker. Peace. Love y'all niggas.